Hello, hello, everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Near Automata adventures. Last time we got we opened up the game. <laughs> it's just amazing that it started out as like a top-down super shooter. I just wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that from happening. From my YouTube chat, when will the next dot hack stream be? I do not know, because I was playing through the dot hack and like I don't know, like the slow pacing, and I think I was in a bad headspace. And that last room was like I need to do something different, so like maybe eventually, but right now, this so far has been just like getting to me, and I like it. Because last time, we were talking with the Resistance Network, and we need to go into the desert. Because I believe they have, like, had some people out there they lost contact with, I think. Or, like, uh, eliminate the machines in the desert. Either way, we're going to the desert. And they were, like, saying, this is the last place that you can get, like... Resupply. Hey, you know what? Before we head in there, I'm gonna change the skin of my. What is, what is, what is this? Is this? Oh, it's a head for me. That's a little weird. Why would I want to become stubby? I thought it was gonna turn like my little shooter guy into a head for some reason. It just feels like that would be a thing to do. We'll have the stubby. Shoot the stubby. Oh, on my head. If you want, you can turn yourself into a Valve person. I will turn it back into a grimoire, because why not? As we dive into the desert. There's a bunch of, like... Of has a oh. for all of our Hello, Council of Humanity person. Kind of expected. Has raged for far too long. Yeah, like. Sure all of you find the effort grueling. How long have we been fighting? Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Can there be like several hundred thousand humans on the moon? Like, what kind of superstructure? Are always so stiff. What kind of superstructure do they have on the moon to house hundreds of thousands of people? Mail notification received from access point. Are you gonna fight me? You have red eyes. And you're just looking at me, though. Ah, well, we'll kill you anyway. Interesting, though. They're kind of like, uh, what are they, Pokies in Mario? They have little segmented selves. Well, these ones are jumping at me. Obviously mean to be evil. Just shot them up here. Goodbye. What was it you were guarding? I, forget, I don't know if that was the money or the crystal. Probably the crystal. But also, wouldn't like the desert be one of the worst places for robots to be? But did Square Enix make the Nier series? I think so. At least I think that this one was published by... Square? Oh, can, can we actually go down there? There's an item. Huh. Secrets? I guess? Got 200 G. There's a box over here. Huh. And a cave. 
Um. Interesting. Is there anything down there? Doesn't seem to be. Huh. Was not expecting this. Am I being targeted? I think I'm being targeted. What are there, like, level 10 stubbies doing down here for? Get out of here. I'm guessing they were probably expecting me to fall down a hole to get here. Considering that. Maybe. I'm not even sure if I'm, like, in the proper place. <laughs> ah, yes. Fan service. The character returns. All because, like, the head director guy's like, I like girls. Therefore, battle maids. You don't need a complicated reason. I don't want to... I want to lock onto this. Well, I guess I can uh, lock onto that. Hmm. I'm going to assume that that is a later thing. Oh, hey, we leveled up. I feel like it's been a while since we leveled up. Luckily, we leveled up at the perfect time. To get punched by that guy. Meanwhile, that guy's trying to run away. Shoot him. Shoot him now. I wonder why they specifically chose to make it this like a uh top-down view. It's like Diablo up in here. Icewind Dale. Is this like just a dungeon? Oh, apparently we're getting to some place because camera's going back to normal over here. And I want to go to map. Oh, this feels... Hmm. Like, I don't know. I feel... I don't know what's, like, a, a secret optional way and what's way I meant to go anymore. I'm going to quickly head back to the... Like, way we came in. To try and get my bearings. Look at the map there. I don't know. I'm in my... I need to get, like, all the optional stuff mode. Prepare to die. Do not punch poor 9S. He's done nothing to you. A tech manual? What's a tech manual? Ah, so there was a cave down there. Okay, but now we can look at the map. Huh. Desert Supply Trader. Hmm. I don't know. That maze both feels like it's potentially 
a thing you can find and do, as well as a this is where you're meant to go and do, I don't know. Well, let's go fight this pokey. Are these things stubbies? They're just like, I do not long to be stubby. I long to be the opposite of stubby. I long to be tall. And then they just die, because I kill them. A torn book. Ah, did you respawn? Or did you just wander? To your doom. Goodbye. <laughs> it died already. Well, either this is a nothing or there's a secret here somewhere. Hmm. But I am very glad that I changed my control style so that I don't have to crab grab it. So I can shoot and dodge at the same time. Well, when I remember to lock on, at least. Hmm. Oh, there's another uh, item that we dropped in. I forgot the building one. I gotta know. I'm just stuck in my. Do I wander around? So, the game wants me to go that way. I think that I shall. Head down below. Oh, what's that? An auto-use item has been obtained. Guess we'll wander around this place a bit more, because why not? It seems intriguing. It's just, I think I would be less weirded out if they didn't change the camera on me. Changing the camera makes it feel a lot more important. And we can always check the map. So we're going like away from where the story wants us to go. Or are we actually heading to where the story wants us to go? Now it led us to a chest. Can I even open you? I can. I got a bunch of stuff. I wonder, is this the first near Automata dungeon? Wandering around for profit and treasure? In my fancy skirt? For some reason that reminds me that, uh... The new game that Hoyoverse, the people behind, like, Honkai, Star Rail, Third Impact, and Genshin Impact, they're making a new game, and they have a hot wolfman as a part of, like, the housekeeping maid. F I don't know, like, faction? <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Business. Oh, how dare you only give me access to one. Apparently I got all I got gold ore. Remember, kids, uh... A Dorito once said, buy gold. Raid Fort Knox, get all the gold. I don't know, it's just like... The mini-map is weird sometimes in how it lays out things. <laughs> Wuthering Waves? Surprisingly, no. I do not think Wuthering Waves is made by Hoyoverse. I think it's made by a different, I believe, Chinese company. 
Although it looks exactly like Genshin Impact from the few, like, cut, like uh, not cutscenes, but like uh, screenshots that I saw. And like, not even in the same way that you're like, haha, Genshin Impact is basically just Breath of the Wild. No, Wuthering Waves looks basically just like Genshin Impact if it wasn't made by Hoyoverse. Because, like, it's one thing for there to be, like, Genshin Impact, where they have, like, uh, anime waifus and a green stamina circle where you go about this open world and use, like, a hand glider to get down from big places without damage. But it's just, like... It is a complete another, where it's like another gotcha game, where it like has the exact same UI, basically. It's not even just green stamina circle, it is ability buttons and everything. It's just like, I don't know, I took one look at it, and just like, what the hell? But yeah, the other game that Hoyoverse is, uh coming out, I believe, on July 4th is called Zinless Zone Zero, which kind of sounds like a gobbledygook name, but uh, apparently it's like a roguelike super action combat RPG, and it actually looks pretty good. Still gonna be an absolute hell gotcha game, but hey. Out of any hell gotcha games, it looks at least pretty decent. Then again, it could just be that they actually have furry characters in there with Von Lekeon. I'll at least give it a nice little shot because it looks interesting. I was going to give... Wuthering Waves a shot, but... Like, again, it's just like... It was that blatant of just... Basically, like, Genshin, but not. It just looks so weird. this game so far? Just wandering around, defeating robots, shooting robots from far away. <laughs> Collateral. That one seems like it's running away. Now it's no longer running away, but it should have been. You fool. <laughs> Von who? Von Lekeon. Or Lycan, but there's an A... And I think, like, there's some Greek people that, that have, like, Lycaon as their name or something. It's probably, for me, it's probably going to be an Arceus Arceus situation. But he is a white wolf man with a lot of belts and a suit. He kicks people to death. I wonder when slash if we're going to run into robots that aren't just the stubbies. Because I think that was the... Or was it? Nah. I'm losing myself. My sense of direction. It's a desert. It all looks the same. But once again, I holy 
do not think that aliens brought these robots here. I think that's about it, so we need to head towards the Diddly Dave. Well, let me quickly check my, like, stats, funds. I'm going to save my funds to get the super upgrade ship. That's like 35 to my chip capacity. I don't know why, but looking down the pipe caught my eye. Hello. Hey, our leader told me all about you. I didn't I thought you <laughs> Nice to meet you. I hear you're planning That's to hilarious. check out all the machines in the desert. I doubt we're, we're going to be able to destroy them all. Open. Looks like it. So, um Jack Ass, was it? Ass Jack. Uh, what are you doing all the way out here? Hmm? Oh, that? Well... Yep. We not have anyone getting tangled up in that, now would we? <laughs> She's Don't the one making the way for us. Hero, all right? I'm a robot, that's literally my entire purpose. Don't go trying to be a hero, alright? I can upload my mind. It's not my fault that you're made of flesh. Let's see, can we save before we head on in? We can quick save. Who opens a sealed gate with explosives? Humans. Gotta be an easier way, right? Yeah, it clears the way quite fast. Jump over these bullets, stubby. The hell? Why do you have masks? Have you evolved? Have you evolved beyond your stubby nature? And now I am murdering you all? I don't think we're going to be able to destroy all the robots in the desert because uh, that's a big desert. Very big desert. <laughs> desert zone. You don't say. Where's the sand like waterfalls coming from? Infinite sand works, I guess. Oh, we can we can slide. That's kinda cool. Uh, this sand sure is slippery. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. But hopefully my controller keyboard thing won't happen again. Where it's like constantly swapping to keyboard if I'm not pressing anything. It seems to be behaving for now. Maybe it was because I like unplugged my controller at one point And it got confused. If it happens again, I'll probably just have to restart the game. These are very different stubbies at the very least. How the hell did I do that? I felt like I did a flip. Defending a box I can't even open yet. Oh, hey, they're the same, the same thing as the uh, Titans. Your friends are dead, and soon so shall you be. Hey, that one has a sword. How dare you go evolving beyond your nature? That's illegal! 
Is that what actually happened? Me just throwing out a rhetorical, like, uh, theory hypothesis? What if the robots started to evolve into being, like, their own sapient beings? And humans are like, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be subservient to us. You are basically invading. And that seems like they're guarding an entrance to a place. So we'll try to do that one last, maybe. Even though it's right here. Let's check the map, actually. Oh, we haven't activated the map, so we can't actually see. Hmm. But yeah, and then, like, over the thousands of years, or, or however long it's been, like, the AI that was in charge of uh, keeping the humanity on the moon alive kind of corrupted itself. And so it thinks that it's, like, literally an invasion of, like, aliens rather than creations of humanity rising up. That one was asking for help. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. If they wanted help, why would they be attacking us? Because we're attacking them. Ah, oh, that one actually hit me. How dare. But still, killing something that's yelling for help... Not a nice thing to have in your head. Again, getting picking up the bolts and screws as money once again reminds me of metal arms. Yeah, since that one's the smallest and is leading to a place, we'll go to that one last. Max HP up. Ooh. I will quickly check out what these robots are doing out here. Now oh, they're just probably wandering around, not guarding another chest I can't even open. Then again, that's a lot of them. I should probably check my chip setup. I think it was in skills. Let's see, all chips, OS, HP gauge. That's all HUD stuff. Shockwave. Add a weak shockwave to weapon attacks. Hmm. <laughs> I think of Ratchet and Clank when picking up bolts and screws. That's also true. It's been forever since I played that kind of game. Increase movement speed by 4%. Increase evade distance by 10%. Taunt? A uh, taunt raise player and enemy attack power by 180%? Jesus! I definitely need to upgrade my capacity. <laughs> ah, I have just enough for auto-use item. Go ahead and use a small recovery, because I can. I need to replay the Ratchet and Clank games. I played the original, like, very, very first one on the PlayStation 2. And, uh, remember not, like, like, the gameplay was fine for the most part, but Ratchet kind of, uh, rubbed me the wrong way. I need to give it a second chance. Oh, yeah, and I think... What the... What the fuck? Suicide trash cans? What? That's like the bombhead guys from, uh, what was, what's that game series? What is that game series? Uh, it's not Duke Nukem. It, it was like, uh, it's another boomer shooter, but I forget its name. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that taunt skill sounds like a double-edged sword. It definitely sounds like the, oh, so you think that you are super skilled in the ways of not getting hit, are you? 
I think that person was caught by the bomb heads. That just charged over a fucking hill to blow up at me. They have a culture. I was going through some old data. It looks like what humans used to wear long ago. Certain human collectives used to use face paint like that too. They're evolving. They think they're people. In a way, aren't we thinking that we're people? Serious Sam, that's it. That is it exactly. I just completed the name. Completely slipped my mind. And I don't know why. Because I could picture him. And like the gameplay and everything, but I couldn't think of the name. Also interesting is that these ones are attacking on their own volition, as opposed to the ones in the city that were only attacking in self-defense or attacking the access points. And this should open up the map a bit. Why is there a vending machine next to a set of ancient stairs? And inbox. Council of Humanity. Attention all androids. Thousands of years have passed since we humans were driven to the moon. And while the war remains deadlocked, we know that our continued safety is only possible thanks to your valiant efforts on the ground. We ask that you continue giving your all to the mission of recapturing Earth from the scourge of the machines. Glory to mankind, League of Assemblymen, Council of Humanity. I do not trust them. There's something weird going on. Like I swear. There's got to be a twist out here. Why are all these books out in the desert? I see like a thing out there. I want to go to it. It intrigues me. Ah, because it's a chest. We got a speedy salve. Through the power of speedy Gonzales. Gotta go fast. Gotta steal the cheese. Oh, hey. You think they even understand the concept of being scared? I mean, do we? Also, for a moment there, it almost sounded like one of the robots called me gay. It was probably just the voice modulation. But at the same time, that is kind of amusing, especially because this is the start of Pride Month. On the first day of Pride Month, my robot gave to me being called gay. No shooting in the desert, young man. That is illegal. God, there's a lot of these things. Yes, today and yesterday. Hello. You are not helping your case on being considered human. I 
I dread the day that I run into an enemy that I actually have to try and fight. I find it funny that the moment I lock on, I get horribly worse. Like my my weapon spread gets horribly worse. So it's kind of like a, a give and a take there too. So if you're really good at aiming your gun, you get more damage by not locking on. But if you're bad with your aim, the random lock-on spread kind of, like, uh, gives you a better average. Careful. We've got enemies approaching. Aren't we approaching the enemies? We did take an ancient mask. I want to look at all the items now. Oh, listen to the background music box. Ancient mask. Can be exchanged for money. Moose meat, machine oil, apparently has purpose. I do like the ones that are like, oh, this can just be exchanged for money. Interesting. A tech manual written in letters you can't understand. Whoa! Yes. They're evolving. They are becoming man. Man evolves from ape. Creates robot. Humanity 2.0 evolves from robot. <laughs> Becomes man 2.0. Now I'm just imagining, like, a crossover fanfic where, like, Earth becomes the Mobius from Sonic. So it's like, like, oh, they're not people. They're just animals. And Sonic the Hedgehog's just there going, now that isn't radical. I gotta destroy these androids. Maybe they were made by Dr. Eggman. Sonic, why does that android have really big thighs? Well, I guess Eggman's gotten a little lonely. You can do that, android? What? A robot? It ran away. Here we go! Hey, item. What is this, Robot City? Are we gonna end up killing robot children? Is this gonna be a, are we the baddies? Ah, we got mail. We're too far away from access point. Also, if I'm correct, like in between last stream and now, one thing that I like, rem like, uh, l like relearned, is that this is an Engli English being sung. It is, I believe, called the Chaos Language that they manufactured just for whatever reason, which is kind of neat. I don't understand, like, the uh, specifics of what the Chaos Language even is, if it serves a purpose or they just want to be artsy, but... Yeah, does, it's not an actual language.
Why are all our access points vending machines? I thought you were going to mention Garo instead of, or Jero instead of Eggman, mainly because Dr. Jero created androids and cyborgs, whereas I don't know if uh, you could count a Metal Sonic as an android. I mostly went down that road because I just thought like, oh, this is like an apocalyptic future world. These are robots that are kind of attaining sentience, it seems. So like, in the vast multiverse of possibility, what if, this, what if it was like Mobius and the androids are being sent down to reclaim Earth from the Mobians? I just figured that would be funny. And besides, I think I made the, like, android... Uh, I'm, well, I mentioned Dragon Ball's androids last stream. Sender Operator 6-0. <coughs> or, like, 6-0, not 6-0. That would just make it 60. 2B, have you heard of the Jupiter fortune telling? It's all the girls over in R&D have been talking about lately. They say you can examine the color and shape of Jupiter's great red spot... Uh, to learn what kind of luck you'll have with health, work, and love. Sounds amazing, right? I'll try it out and let you know what I find out. Does that mean that we androids can love? But the chaos language is interesting, because it does sound like a language. <laughs> the chaos language, huh? It's like a language I'd want to study. How is how does this place like uh, survive for thousands of years? So is that the debate? The robot people versus the android people? Would be funny if they're like, you are not a person, you are just a sex doll. Target confirmed. Let's get it. it does kind of feel like a, we're doing a bad thing since we're just hunting down <laughs> just a guy running away from us. Is that a bit of sarcasm coming from you robots? Asking it how the weather is today? But the music in this game is so good. How'd this dumpster survive? Also, good God. If this is like a normal dumpster, to be is like nine feet tall. Which reminds me of, like, seven-foot-tall Hatsune Miku. The thing everybody wants. Oh, hey, they're using logic. Why would we give robots pain receptors? That's the real question. Oh, Jesus. What even is that thing? Is that like a... Uh, some... Kobokin from Tekken or something?
do you have other dudes in your arms? Are they there to pilot it, or...? Unit data updated. Are you gonna explode? There we go. He's like, he's glowing. Are you gonna explode? I was gonna say seven foot tall Bayonetta. <laughs> All the hottest women have to be uh, tall enough to crush me like an ant. But, uh, intel we go. Unit data. Multi-tier. Created by stacking the bodies of multiple small stubbies, this sluggish machine lumbers ever northward and performs no proper attacks. One is left to wonder why it even exists at all. A small machine life form with limbs similar to those of a human. Its less than sizable build makes it well suited to swift attacks. This humanoid Goliath-class machine life form is actually a colony of smaller machines that uses their combined energy to move one massive body. The expendable slide, arm ra uh, slide rail arms punish all who draw close, while the liquid fuel rocket engine on its back grants short-lived flight capabilities. It also boasts powerful projectile weapons and the transport apparatuses of the linked machines that comprise it, making it a dangerous foe with no apparent weakness. Hello, trash can bomb man. A self-destruct device equipped with a small bipedal unit. Such simple construction means it is technically not classified as a machine life form. It is only function is to approach enemies and engage the self-destruct, a task made easier by its impressive speed. These machine life forms who evolved in the desert zone wear garments and engage in ceremonies based on the cultural rites of past humans. The specific origin of this behavior is unknown, but it is assumed to be caused by contact with old human data. The most common of the small machine life forms. This unit bear a similarity to spring powered toys. Yeah, basically the same. A small machine life form with limbs limited in human unless it makes swift attacks. Its small sword is thought to have been created by a machine life form haphazardly combining metals. That doesn't look that haphazard to me. So basically the same. Oh, so it gave me both the Goliath biped desert version and normal version. Interesting. <laughs> True, it kind of comes with the intentional design flaw, giving robots pain receptors. What did you mention the enemy looked like from Tekken? I don't know. I just remember from uh, the, what's it called? Half-Life... VR, but the AI is aware, I think it's called. That was a fun series. At one point, there is, like, uh, a thing there that one of the characters is like, it's Moboken from Tekken or something. And then looking at that just made me think of that. Intelligence. You think if 9S saw a parrot, he'd just kill it? These are android bodies. Hypothesis. They were killed by local machine life forms. God, that's a lot of androids. It's like they were gathered here. Mokujin, something like that. I do not know. I think it was Tekken that they mentioned. How many androids were lost here? And like... Did none of them re like, uh... Either did they not be able to upload their data from their black boxes? Or... Did they not report this or what? Why are we chasing this guy again? I know that they're like, oh, we have to hunt down and eliminate the robots in the desert, but still. 
What the hell is going down there? Machines detected ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. Yeah, well, why are they collecting android bodies and hoarding them at their apparent home? And why can we only absorb some of them? God, that's a lot of android bodies. Child. Well, that's disturbing. Child. Or depressing. Child. What is this? Don't listen to them to me. What the hell? Well, time for genocide, I guess. I was gathering a body, thank you very much. <laughs> Luckily, I healed it. Wait, have you... Well, now we're teaching them hatred. I do like the capability of being able to... Like, smack them super hard with the laser for collaterals. Where are they all coming from? Well, we're giving them of a creed to fight for. Or are they are they freezing? Great, we send them into a fit. Oh. What the, what's happening? I think they're evolving. Congratulations, we created a singular being. And it hates us. What the fuck? That is an ass. This is a machine. Does it look like a machine to you? I'm going to presume you are called Adam. Congratulations, 9S. Our genocide has uh, beget life. It's level one. And it's leveling up. Because the world is full of pain. It is leveling up as we fight. Sword. Dodge. Projectile. Deflect. I think he's evolving. We better finish oh. this quick. Oh, now you're gonna say he. When he's kicking our ass, it's he. And he can teleport? What? He is an angry boy. Born of a machine egg. Fool cake? Senator Armstrong? Hello. Or is he, like, planting them to explode later? 
<laughs> he is not. He is summoning it from the ground. He is teleporting them below us. We are making one angry boy. He is already at our level. I do like that we kind of stumble sometimes when we're running. He is an angry boy. Whoa! He is over our level now! We, kill, we killed a new species. A robot made android, and we just killed him. Oh, great. Now there's going to be two of them? Or is, he or is he just doomsday? Learning from his mistakes. Oh, no. It's just David Bowie. <laughs> and either that is his sibling or that is him and he's just going... Or maybe he's dead, I don't know. Come on, through that hole. After everything that, that has happened in this room, I do not want to hear the phrase, through that hole. Oh, that was close. So yeah, we just went in, committed a genocide. Those that we were genociding decided to come together literally and create a super being. It it's it's a healthy it baby boy, says the achievement. Complete the desert area. What the hell just happened? I know. I've never seen a machine like that before. Uh, 9S, we are machines. 9S, we are machines. And look what the other machines did. Like, they were obviously forming thoughts. I guess these ones weren't called in, uh, for lack of a better term, for the giant orgy. So yeah, all the robots got together, forged a uh, giant robot egg. Okay. <laughs> well, to catch up on chat, Mokujin is the only character I can think of. I mean, I've played every Tekken game from 1 through 8, so I could go uh, other and list all the other characters. <laughs> is this Hornet's Nest? Well, it was some kind of nest, and they made a giant egg there. How is he gaining strength the longer the fight goes on? Because he is a very special baby boy. He is very intelligent. Learns very fast. Okay, this is good. We should be able to reach command here. Nine S to bunker. Do you copy? Shit went down. Go ahead. Operator, we uh, we just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them. But I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Well then. I was not expecting that to happen. But yeah, once the machines start going, ow, pain, I hate you, maybe you should start reconsidering 
your mission ever so slightly. What happened to pe for people to die here? Go ahead and quick save, check there's nothing. I hear you kicked some tin can ass out in the desert. Not as so tin can as I wish it was. You know, thanks or whatever. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for securing access to those desert resources. It's a huge help. I know it isn't much, but please take this. It's the least I can do. Ah, good thing we I'll talked to you. Swing by if you ever need anything, all right? Got small recovery and a thousand G. What can I help you with? <laughs> Would you like to use that thousand G I gave you? It was actually an investment. So ancient masks can be exchanged for money. That's a definite lot. I think that'll. Dang it. Yes, sell. Moose meat. Can it be exchanged for money? <laughs> Come back anytime. That's all he says. Oh yeah, I forgot. What do you have in stock? What can I help you with? For some reason, Brain wants to press A button. Enemy data? I think we already have that. But for some reason, it's just like, ooh, data? Information? I want that. I wish it would tell me if I actually had them already. Text log. Do I have text log? Counter? Counter an enemy attack to send back 10% of incoming damage. Hmm. Yep, I already have text log. Two of them, in fact. Oh, for a moment I thought that meant that I had three of them. Hmm, I am a fool. That's how many slots it takes up. I wonder why this one is like a 9-slot shockwave, and that one's a 10-slot. Ooh. Huh. I wonder what that zero means. I guess that's how many I have. Resilience. Avoid stagger if after hits uh, if HP is 80% or more. Increase the power of down attacks by 2%. Charge attack. Experience gauge. But we'll probably grab that after we get my slot upgrades. We're probably going to head back to the I think we resistance camp. Say to be. I was hoping we could talk about our next move. Sure. I'm worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. We actually didn't take that much, Maybe I don't think. We should return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance. That's what I was going to do anyway. All right. Let's go back. You got it. But we'll fight enemies along the way. Yo, idiot! That's what you get for not having a shield like your friend. We'll just gather up all the money in the area. What oh, was there? Ah, dead body. Gather up the downed items. For upgrades and the like.
I think that was inco- <laughs> I don't know. It, it almost seemed like I sent a bomb at him with my grimoire. But we head back to the resistance camp. I wonder if there's anything at, like, the top of these skyscrapers. I do find it amusing that Ninos was like, what are those? When they're, like, big buildings that we've already seen here. Yeah, I wonder if we'll have to fight on the moon at some point. We go to the moon, all the humans are dead. How oh, you die out here? This is like the starting area. Subquest. You can accept subquests from clients marked with the target symbol all over the world. Subquest destinations are indicated by a diamond on the minimap. Well, unless a new one's popped up, I think everything should be fine. Give me that item. Welcome. What are you buying? Let's see. Unless you can't buy them from here and I have to do them at the base, which does look like it, that I have to do them at the bunker. Because I need 35 to get the most expensive. I can't upgrade because I need uh, titanium alloys, dented plates and stuff. He is selling those, but those are pretty expensive. Before that whole thing happened with the moon, this area actually had a proper nighttime. Thing with the moon? Huh, I wonder what that means. Well, I guess we'll transport to the bunker to buy the chip upgrade. Maybe multiple, so we can up just place chips in like crazy. Because I want them upgrades. The more chips I can place, the more devastation I can wreak. Now I just forget, which way is my... Oh, there's a subquest this way. Subquests every way. Well, first things first, I want to buy... Ha, ah, here we are. My room. What the... Hmm. Where's the chip upgrades, though? Because I know they exist. I saw them. Did I accidentally go to sell? No. Hmm. Uh, that is weird. They dare disappear on me. I guess we'll go grab these side quests at least. From my YouTube chat, I wonder where the other viewers are. The YouTube viewers, I mean. Some of them might just be lurkers. Just want to listen, watch, but don't have much to say, which is completely fine. It's the bunker. Go ahead. Say again. You lost your pod? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, I see. Well, Lost Pod will emit a distress signal, so try to locate that and then search the surrounding area. Bunker out. And maybe don't lose it next time, honestly. Well, there's obviously a... subquest in here somewhere. It had it as a an icon. Ah, it's you. 
Actually, there's something I need to ask you. We need your help improving the network environment between the bunker and the surface. Doing so will allow us to carry out our operations in a more efficient manner. First, I need you to transport the required materials to the leader of the resistance camp. I'll have an operator explain how to obtain the materials once you touch down. Yes, Commander. I just need to look for any operator that has the quest icon above them. Or maybe it's just like head to the resistance place, plop it down, and then I'll get more information that way. To B? Is that you? Yes, but... Thank goodness, my name is 16D. My instructor 11B was one of your squad mates in the assault of the abandoned factory. Ah, she did. I don't suppose she... Everyone got annihilated. She was shot down during the battle. I, I see. What a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. I know it isn't my place to be asking you this, but, well, if you happen to run across anything of hers, would you may mind bringing it back to me? It's not a priority or anything, just if you have the time. Sure. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Pa, do we have any information about 11B's black box? Negative. 11B's black box has yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? Uh, before we leave, I'm going to check again that shop in my room because I want those chip upgrades, yet they don't appear anywhere. Weird. Okay, so that icon is my room. Hmm. Maybe we can check 9S's room, and that's where they're all hiding. Oh, we can actually come in here. And it's the same. Hmm. Weird. Back to the resistance camp, at least. There's something weird about the Yorha bunker, mainly because of like, uh, like either it's because like uh, the desaturation makes it seem like it's all being looked at through a camera, which maybe it is, or maybe it's all a simulation. Because how do we actually transport there? Yeah. I think I have them. I think the Once subtitle the said broken key. Take it to the resistance leader Anemone. Understood. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a pain, but good luck. I, location data obtained. Marking on map. Like I could have sworn that the subtitles said something different. Looks like you found all the necessary parts to improve our network environment. Nice work. You can I already had them. By bringing everything over to Anemone. Anemone. A sea anemone. I heard about this from the bunker. These are the parts we need for our network structure, right? Thanks for bringing them. It's not much, but I have a reward for you. Oh, but don't tell the commander. It's probably against regulations. I guess we get an update? Yeah. <laughs> to be to operator 60. Material handover complete. Copy that. Good work. I see the commander's as much of a slave driver as ever. It's like she was built to be as efficient and hard-assed as possible. Oh, she's not so bad. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, she doesn't even totally seem serious. like that, the commander actually like, super serious. Like, did you know that she leaves piles of clothes strewn 
Oh, you mean the commander up in the bunker. The cleaning team is so sick of it. Oh, and she never performs regular maintenance on herself. A lot of the hard-ass nature you mention is just for show. How do you know all this? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you that. 6 is actually the commander. What the heck was all that about? Ah, it's you. I heard from Jackass about your encounter in the desert. Good work. We don't have much to offer, and thanks, but I've readied a room for you here. Oh? Oh, so that's what that is. It's the least we can do. Feel free to use it however you like. Hey, thanks! Man, where are the chip upgrades? This is pretty big. Sure, it's okay for us to get a room like this? We have permission, remember? Plus, we'll probably be stationed here for a while, so a bed won't go amiss. Then I guess there's no point turning it down. Open up all the chests. Well, let's see what happens when we take a break. Yes. Interesting. For an android, why do we need to sleep? Seriously, where are the chip upgrades? They were here before. But now they're just gone. Did I do something? Did the game do something? Well, let's go check quests at least. Well, I guess we'll be heading that way. See if we can find the body. This is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Sure thing. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Really? The boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signal, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. All Yorha units? End transmission. <laughs> I heard something about that back at the resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. First I'm gonna grab all these items and then head to the construction place to find the memento. Because we need all these dropped items that we can get. Then maybe after we turn in the memento mission, I'll quickly Google search. It's just like, hey, why can't I get them upgrade chips? Because again, I know they were there at like the beginning. Now it's just going to haunt me to the end of my days. But let's go get that memento. Again, though, like, why were all the other, like, units that were flying with us to the Titan-class monster we were going to destroy just horrible at dodging? I mean, I know I also got hit by a laser in the boss fight. But I blame camera controls. The enemy, the others cannot claim the same.
Again, why are all the, like, extender stations just vending machines? Seems weird to me. I should probably use a small recovery, just in case. And the elevator is still not online for us. At least it seems that we are overleveled for this area now. Fear us, we are veteran destroyers of you. Got backhanded by a giant robot. I do like that taking, like, uh, the bodies heals you. It's just a nice little thing. Especially in certain areas where apparently a decent number of people have died. Other people's failure is my success. How dare the, you pinwheel arm me. Little stubby. Their ultimate technique will never be beat. <laughs> go flying. Man, how much force do we have to hit these guys with to make them go flying like that? I presume that we would find her body out here somewhere. Gotta annihilate the little gun guys or they'll plague us for eternity. It's not even that they're that dangerous now. They're just mostly annoying. And at least we get a decent few bits of gear money. Then again, I guess in the post-apocalypse, decent scrap metal would be relatively valuable. And these guys just dropped a lot of items. Sure, they're probably just like piddly little items, but still, lots of items. Just the one place I would 
think that a dead body from the initial charge would be, would be like the first boss fight area. Oh, we leveled up by killing piddly dudes. Oh, there's an item. We should go pick it up. And a dead body. Where'd you come from, dead body? F Did another body spawn on top of the dead body? I wonder why we didn't just have, like, androids come along after, like, this place. Well, I guess we did technically didn't get rid of all the enemies here, but still. <laughs> Were the higher-ups just like, oh, they destroy destroyed the Titan-class enemies? Let's leave all the little enemies still there. Eternally churning out stubbies. Even though after what we saw, apparently the stubbies can lead to life. Huh, doesn't look like a, the dead body's here. That's a oh. Dead body is here. Analysis. Your hunt type B body confirmed. It belongs to the missing unit known as 11B. So this is where you landed. How did we miss you? <laughs> can you access her black box? Negative. And then we'll probably bring those back to him. Ah, memory time. 11B's escape plan. Reactivation completed. Check my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team or bunker. I leave a draft of this message here as a log. I verify the plan once more. Uh, for a moment there, I thought that was, like, uh, jumping back. Using my supposed destruction in this sortie as a guise, I sever all communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals that I took anti-air fire while in flight unit, resulting in damage to my body, no matter it can be repaired. I'm cold, my sensory systems seem to be failing. Noise has started to cloud my vision, virus warnings appear frequently. It is unclear whether I am infected or if this is, system is in error. Repairs are proceeding poorly, perhaps because I am flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? I'm scared. I want to go back to the bunker, but I can't restore communications. This can't continue. I can't stay here. I have to run. Yoha Squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Painful. It hurts. Help. Why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. That's weird. Yoha Squadron was wrong. Huh. She was planning to go AWOL. I wonder what you mean, 11B. I'll bring this weapon back to 16D in the bunker. I wonder what she meant. Yorha Squadron is wrong. To the point that she created an entire escape plan that apparently went wrong. Then again, I'm also the one concocting all these conspiracy theories. That, like, the robots aren't alien at all. Like, if anything, humanity definitely killed itself. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like some government, like, made all the robot and robot creation subroutines create war robots to destroy their enemies. 
and then that just spiraled out of everything. Man, just more and more bodies are piling up. I need to remember, I think. This is the way forward. I wonder exactly... Would have been nice, 11B, if you actually wrote down what your ha uh, squadron was wrong about. You obviously left the message as kind of like a, if I die, here's what's what. And you didn't even tell us what's what. Oh, and I forgot, we can also now check, like, uh... So I guess we go to the resistance camp and we exit that way to get to that area. Yeah, that's interesting. Does that mean that all the other members of the squadron intentionally got hit to try and escape? Are we going to run into AWOL androids? What even is a corrective punishment for an android that tried to go AWOL? Mind erasure? Although I do find it a little, like, come to think of it, it's a little interesting that whenever we run into, like, the robots not exactly acting robot-like, 9S is the one to go, oh, no, no, they're just spouting gibberish. Everything is fine. Go ahead and kill them. I wonder if he was placed here specifically for some reason. <laughs> I was gonna say destroyed, probably for the corrective punishment. Considering that, like, apparently Yorha doesn't have, like, all that much. Hmm. You know what? I am very interested, because I know that they existed. I'm gonna look up. Here's a... I found a game fact. Where the hell did the chips go? I'm gonna quickly look. Hopefully there's no spoilers. But I know they existed. Hmm. Not exactly what I... Hmm. Let me change the query to... Ah, I wonder if that's it. That one, this one says that you can only hold a maximum number of chips overall. If so, let's see. That might not be bad. Hmm. I'm going to sell some chips. And then see if they'll show up then. Well, since I'm not going to be playing on easy mode, I'll sell the easy mode chips. I'm going 
head back to the bunker, see if I can activate them. We're also going to be turning in the weapon thing anyway. But I need to find the answer. I wonder what the transport thing even is. I think it's probably just beaming my consciousness into another 2B body. Either that or this is just them going, hand-waving, yes, they went back to the bunker. But it seems dangerous to go from the bunker to... Earth and back again. Yeah, all the upgrade chips are just gone. What the hell? Hmm. Ah. Okay, one person now is... I'm just looking through all these different things like, where are they? One person says it's a different resistance person that sells them. We'll check that out then. But first, we gotta finish this here diddly dee quest. I wonder if we'll be given the opportunity to tell her that 11B was going AWOL. And if I tell her or not. If that would change anything. Oh, boy. Oh, 2B, hello. I found 11B's body along with this weapon. The battle log is still intact on this. She must have fought right up to the end. I always knew she was the bravest of us all. Thank you, 2B. But I think you should keep it. You're a combat model, after all, whereas I'm a defensive unit. I'm sure 11B would be happy knowing it was being put to good use. All right. A Yorha-issued blade. Ah, you want me to tell or not? After she was just like, oh, she was the bravest of us all. B what do I even say? What do I even say? Because uh, this is probably just a minor diddly D. But I don't know. I don't want to be mean, but I don't want to lie. I don't know. Hmm. Because <laughs> she's like, oh, she was the bravest of us all. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Because... This one is saying that 11B was, like, the closest thing to her mentor and taught her things and cared a lot. So her dying, trying to run away, would probably be bad. I don't know. Hmm... And who knows if this even comes back or not. And then I guess I'm just going to keep the plans to myself. Are you sure this is everything? There's no other information? I'm sure. Well, at least now I can put her memory to rest. Can I admit something to you? 11B and I were in a relationship. She promised to protect me. It all seemed so romantic at the time. But now she can't. 
I've been thinking of converting to a combat model like you and her. That way I could avenge her death. I see. Anyway, thank you. Oh, and here, you should take this. I don't have a reason to protect myself anymore. That's disturbing. Huh. Well, I guess in a way that's probably the best outcome. Because if she learned that 11B defected and wasn't going to bring her... Well, then that's extra bad. Well, back to the resistance camp, and I'll just wander around, talk to everybody, see if I can find the goddamn chip seller. Because maybe we got to a point where all the upgrade chips get sold by a dedicated person, but they wanted to give you the potential to get them early if you got the money, and so they had them there. I do not know. Oh, you're a shop. Need any maintenance? Ah, oh, here we are. So you're probably just... I was just looking in the wrong place. But definitely buy... The most expensive storages first. Fuse. Fuse plug-in chips. Interesting. We might play with that later. But not currently. There we go. I knew you were out here somewhere. Uh, skills. Plug-in chips. Because now I think that, like, are the... Because I think it looks like the things are already... Like, uh... Plugged in the the max chips. Okay, so all of this is currently in use. Oh, because that's all of, or is it? No, all chips. Because like, yeah, removal means death. Oh, it just, like, auto-equipped everything. But where'd the taunt go? I'm confuzzled. Remove. So, yeah, it looks like it just auto-equipped everything. Or did it? I don't know. This is confusing me. I wish it would just, like, be normal. Okay. Okay, there we go. I wonder why this one has, like, a star next to it. Defensive heal. Melee defense. Hmm. So maybe like... Yeah, definitely move. Move you up. So I think I was just getting confused by the presentation of it all. melee defense. That way I take less damage from probably the things heaviest hitting to me. And only a handful of chips did that. But we'll definitely have to look into that, like, chip fusion in a bit. Yeah, it seems that, like, past a certain point, the game just moved all of the 
capacity upgrades to her, because they were sold in the bunker in the beginning. And then they just decided to no more. But I think we should be able to access this area now. I presume. Well, apparently not. But it's weird because that seems like it should be the way. Unless, like, this is a little way in there, I guess. I just thought that since that this was a place that was previously locked, we might be able to unlock it at some point. Unless that's where all the androids who s spoke out of turn went. I guess presumptuous. There's a little way up here that leads to where we need to go. Oh yeah, I guess I should probably look at the... Like, uh... Yorha Issued Blade. It is a light attack thing. I wonder why I have, like... A special one. What makes me special? Why do I get the fancy blades? Gotta grab all the items. But surely we're gonna run into the Adam guy at some point again, the robot made android. Were you hiding here to ambush me? You fool. <laughs> so I presume this is the way in. It seems more recently built fortifications. Ah, oh, we have to go into the sewers, do we? Surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. And I'm in my only dress. So, 2B, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Yep. Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. Hmm. Because they still believe that the robots, like, because it is just so ingrained in me at this point that these robots, they're just normal robots. They were made by humans. They are not alien devices. It is just for some reason a cover-up that they fed to the androids. Probably, I guess, because if humans caused the devastation of the planet and forced themselves to the moon as their robot minions went crazy. That maybe the androids would think, wait, then why do we have to listen to you? You already screwed up. And now we are out of the city and into a forest of giant ass trees. What the fuck? Disneyland? They burnt a heart into a hotel. I'm gonna search the nooks and crannies here first. Oh yeah, we have a... We have a flashlight. And that just centers that. I wonder if pressing both of the... R3 and L3, pressing down the joysticks do anything. I was going to pick up the thingy. They're just throwing confetti everywhere. 
And yeah, somebody burnt a heart into the building. Amusement park. This is supposed to be a place of fun! You dare tear me away from my pick upable item? How dare you? You dare put an item off the beaten path and teleport me away? They're not attacking me. And 9S isn't saying to not kill them all. Little brother machine. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. Accept my love. Huh. Did they build that statue, or did somebody else build that statue? Oh, well, they're not trying to kill us. I've got mail. Which means we're probably gonna... Screw everything up. Oh, hello! Machine with a dream. Awesome music playing as well. You have business here? No. Really, the most surprising thing is 9S not telling me, kill them all, they're just a robots. Kill them all now. But interesting. At this point, it feels like, like, uh... Oh, a shop? What are you selling? Shh, don't shout. Can I help you? Interesting. Sure, I'll buy up to, like, a handful of things from you. Thank you. Where does this corridor lead? A place that hopefully doesn't turn the amusement park against us. Machine on break. Break time! Are you eternally on break? That's either a good thing or a bad thing. If we activate this, are they all gonna turn hostile? Remember that message I sent about Jupiter fortune telling I had the girls in RD do it for me, and I got the worst readings possible for health, work, and love? But that's when I realized something. That stuff is a bunch of occult crap. I mean, how are you supposed to figure out your destiny by observing another planet? Ridiculous. I'll forge my own destiny. That's the truest desire of every Yorha woman anyway, right? Ha 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 ha. Alright, so... These things aren't... violent. Hopefully I don't need to kill them to get, like, resources for upgrades. Very interesting. Let's look around for a route we can take. It's probably through uh, bouncing on the like twirl a whirl spaceship thing there, but I want to check and see what 
else is here first. Because we didn't go forward. This is a shot of all shots. Father Machine. Let's be happy together, together, together. I wonder how we get to that one treasure chest. Maybe there's another route that will take us deeper inside. How can we not bust that gate down? We're like a we're presumably super strong robots, androids, whatever. Jesus Christ, that's a giant door. Is that where like these robots or like uh, the big father type robots <laughs> come from? That's their storage unit. But interesting. But again, it's still kind of funny how we went from don't listen to them, kill them all, to sure, we'll buy from a, from a, a clown robot. And 9S is just not saying anything. I wonder how many people, like, went there and just started killing all the clown performer robots. Probably a decent amount of people. At least none of the robots care to use this. Oh, I guess the game wants me to get to this one? How do I get to that treasure chest, game? I see a chest there. You can't keep that chest from me, you bastard. But apparently it can. Hello? Dangerous beyond here, broken, d junk, danger. Well, thank you for the warning. Well, at least we got the go-ahead from that one, maybe. Is it gonna start? Machines are heavily armed. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. And the other one did say this is junk. Heavily armed did you before it was just shooting balloons and now it's shooting kill monsters. Hopefully that didn't turn the entire thing against us. What's this? Some kind of crystal? Analysis. It is a core fragment from the machine life form. It is similar in structure to a plant cell. A plant cell? A plant cell? Yeah, they weren't attacking us, but every single time Nina says, kill them, I don't think we have much choice. Once again, hope the rest of the clown circus isn't going to hate us. I wonder if there there's like a hidden route, like if you ignore Nine S on all of them, like they're dangerous, we have to kill them. And I just say, no, I don't care if we can just move along. <laughs> Probably not. Why is it filled with rocks? Humans sure are strange creatures. Hmm. 
Well, now at least <laughs> this is the com ultimate confirmation. Well. Apparently, we're not allowed to be on this. We're in the middle of combat, nines. No, no time for lore. Oh, Jesus. I think destroying the tank angered the clown parade. Or maybe this is just a continuation of the dangerous junk this direction. Oh, I wasn't done destroying the clowns. Well, that's not good. A dead body's right here. Multiple resistance members detected beneath this room. They're all gonna be dead, aren't they? We're gonna get there. Nothing's gonna be good. I can't get over there. So, where's the dead bodies? Well, I think we found the dead bodies. What is the purpose of you? Well, what, the hell? Don't say anything about a machine like this. what is this thing? Well, that's not good. Bouncing destruction balls. Oh, and missiles. I couldn't even dodge after I started getting hit. Strange being. Why? Presumably, you're some kind of entertainment robot. So, why do you have missiles? Were they originally supposed to be like, uh. What the fuck is that? I guess just a get off me tool? Well, you worked. Good. At least these bosses are interesting. Once you get hit by a single missile, it is over. Oh, you... Ah, so this is what that was. You're pre prepping to send... I think I'll just stand here and shoot. Never mind. <laughs> Some invincible ones are now coming. Jesus. When did this become Toho? Also, its health bar disappeared, so I think it's entering another phase. At least this one is a bit more justifiable to kill, consider- What the fuck? What is this? I'm being hacked? Is that how it- It's trying to hack us. If we take hacking damage, it'll affect our bodies as well. Okay, that was new. But it stopped. Oh. To me. Or not to be. Did you burn yourself out? Well, Jesus Christ. Well, technically they are uh, android bodies. It crucified them for some reason. Turned into weapons. 
Well then, that's freedom. But Jesus, how many resistance member androids did they send to this amusement park? Also, is it? It's also a little bit weird that like command was like we want all active Yorha members on the planet's surface to go and like try and find out what happened and hacking how the hell am I supposed to even do that one I can't game. I would. It would be nice if I could actually see. But you're taking control of the camera away, like a jerk. I do not like having the camera control taken away. What even is your deal? Hope it's gonna, it's gonna... At least these ones I want to take out. What, well, his legs? Is that why you want to be beautiful? Because you're ugly as sin. We haven't even killed you yet. Are you going to hack us again? Gonna counter hack? Well, we saw a bit of its memories. But what happened? Thanks for the assist. Oh, you mean the hacking? No worries. Us scanners are pretty good at that kind of thing. I've got your back anytime. We have to save those androids. Like save or like kill? I'm sorry to be. Their circuits are fried. I think they were only being kept alive by that enemy. And you're walking all over them. And now the door opened. I wonder what that memory fragment was. Like another robot. Like offering it a... Or like looking up to it. And it needed to become more beautiful. What happened? So, um... Why were androids sent what? here anyway? That machine had some pretty weird things to say, huh? It's almost like it had actual emotion. The machines don't have feelings. You said that yourself. Yeah, I... I guess. I wonder if that'll turn all of the robots in the circus to be hostile, or if they'll be fine. Because that one was extra crazy. Maybe not all the robots like crazy robots. Huh. 
I will go out the front first, and then we'll check out that elevator. I swear to God, if the game locks me out of this, I will be annoyed. But the elevator... There's, there's a locked chest, so more than likely this is a comeback place, but still... Where are we going? I do like that I can turn my grimoire. Well, that's not good, a dead body. Oh. So this is like where a bunch of the other ones are being kept. There's even a bunch of dead stubbies in here. Huh. So another locked chest that we can't open in a very... Interesting place. From Twitch, howdy, how are we doing today? Doing decent. We uh, committed genocide against the, the desert robots who created an android looking being, which I'm calling Adam right now. And then after we killed Adam, another Adam came out of Adam and streamed. That was a thing. Uh, then after my long search of where the hell did my upgrade chips go, apparently they went to a, uh, like, the maintenance girl in the resistance camp, and were just completely not available to buy from the bunker anymore, which just confused me. Uh, then we came uh, to uh, the ma magical amusement park with a heart burned into the hotel. Everybody was nice. Nobody was trying to kill us. Even 9S didn't tell me to kill the clown robots. But then we saw the clown party tank, and 9S said we had to kill him, so we killed him. Uh, and then after riding a, uh, uh, a roller coaster, we found an operatic crazy robot that demanded to be beautiful and was uh, keeping a bunch of androids alive through crucifixion. Hello there. But it has a flag. It also has green eyes. This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. So were the ones in the desert, 9S. Considering that I am full on the conspiracy train of like, these are not alien robots, these are human robots that probably are just getting too intelligent for humanity's sake. Let's go to their village. And then we'll kill them at their trap. Oh, you're gonna head to the big door. But I'm not doing a robot genocide route. At least not yet. I can always come back and get that box. But who knows, maybe the, uh... The clown party tank was a part of the broken junk machines that the... Big clown robot was talking about. Are those missiles in the background? What's that? Oh, right. You wouldn't have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space after all. I guess that makes sense. But 
Also very handy of these robots to design like a So why don't the machines or the aliens tree fort. created them attack the bunker directly? They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? Again, these are not alien made. <laughs> like that tripped me up slightly when they're like, why would the robots build an android robot that looks like the androids? We were made in humanity's image. What, you think these guys were made in alien image? You think they're all stubby? Uh, we await your visit. Complete the amusement park ruins. Achievement. I'm going to carefully have all my hands off of the attack buttons. I do not want to kill anybody in the machine village. Hello there. Begin. There's something you must understand. And what be that? To be. We can't trust anything the machines say. I understand you see us as the enemy, but well anyway. My name is Pascal. That's a nice name. Considering that this is also, like, connected to the... Like, blah, blah, blah. We are not your enemy. I personally believe them. And plus, again, they have green eyes. I don't even want to try attacking in this place. But let me guess, like, if we report this to HQ, they're totally gonna bomb this place. You know, we already have something of a relationship with you androids. In fact, I'm hoping you can take this to uh, Aninamini in the Resistance Camp. What is it? It's a fuel filter that she requested. Oh, are you the, uh... I'm trying to think. If you take it to her, it should make clear that we're a peaceful group. All right. Fuel filter. Oh, another quest. From a robot with a bow. Um, excuse me, can you please help me? I need to find my little sister. Sure. And it's all my fault. It seems she overheard me complaining about how one of my parts was starting to seize up. So she went off to the desert in search of a replacement. We killed her, didn't we? It's been days now, and she's still not back. Please, you have to help me. I'll pay you whatever you want. She sure cares about her little sister, huh? Still, it's pretty funny to hear machines talk about siblings. Do you think she just means they were built at the same factory or something? Maybe. We are machines, too. What about you, big guy? We are not your enemy. Well, then again, it's more like a colony than a singular big guy. Well, it's interesting. I wasn't expecting them to throw genuinely peaceful robots at us this fast. Let me check my... Oh, can't check my map. No more talking from him, I guess. <laughs> Celebrating the freedom. Oh, there's an, another hidden thing.
machine with makeup. Ah, uh, Jean Paul. But it's a little interesting to hear, like, at least childlike voices sing in the chaos language. <laughs> There's a dead body here! Well, somebody wasn't peaceful in the village. Kind of reminds me of Kokiri Village from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, says my YouTube chat. Mm. Existence precedes essence. Um, man is nothing else but what he makes of himself. Additionally, um, hello? Yes, and you are? Wait, do not tell me. I have already deduced that you are here to listen to me expound upon the great mysteries of existence. Well enough. Let us begin by discussing the concept of existentialism. Essence and existence are two sides of the same coin. And yet, what is existence? I'm glad you asked. To answer that, we will require many long hours of... This is pointless. There is no point in talking to Jean Paul. We stopped trying to figure him out a while ago. All he does is spout a bunch of mumbo jumbo about something called philosophy. If you're curious about him, you'll have better luck talking to his followers. They tend to use smaller words, at least. This guy's followers? More like fans, I suppose. But yes, there are quite a few out there who buy what he's selling. Don't ask me why. Some folks just get into that sort of thing, I suppose. There's even one Jean Paul follower right here in this village. You know, the machine with the thick paint on her face? That's the one. Interesting. I wonder how many Jean Paul followers we've accidentally killed. Hello, can we ask a question? Do you happen to know a machine named Jean Paul? I certainly do. Master Jean Paul is a genius. You can rely on him for absolutely anything. Are we talking about the same Jean Paul here? In fact, I was just thinking about how much wisdom he has to teach me, so I wrote him a letter asking for guidance. You'll take it to him, won't you? Huh? I can't let that lady in the desert get to him first, or that harpy in the amusement park. Great, there are more of these weirdos. Uh, wait, they have genders? Well, I mean, look at it this way, 9S. Like, we were assigned our genders. These guys, they choose their own. Hello? Ah, uh, yes, I as I see. Dreams are the mind's version of reality perfected. Hey, Jean-Paul, we have a delivery for you. Uh, allow me to see it at once. Interesting a letter, is it? A female machine asked us to deliver it to you. She said she could rely on you and that you know pretty much everything. Yes, yes. Now, if I may, do you believe that existence precedes essence? Um, is that about the letter? No. Right, but shouldn't you may respond to the letter? Is one duty bound to reply to every question spewed in their direction? If such is your claim, then what power was it who placed this burdensome yoke upon my neck? This is a waste of time. You got that right. But <laughs> the makeup robot's probably going to take it as something profound. There you are. Well, what did the master say about my letter? I actually said it wasn't worthy of a response. I knew it. Isn't he the greatest? I can't get enough of him. You don't say... There's just one... Ah, there's another one over here to talk to. Then we can... Very interesting, though. Again, I was not expecting them to throw truly peaceful robots at us this quickly. This place is gonna get fucking nuked, isn't it? The moment that, uh... Like, the boss and everybody hear about this, they're immediately gonna go, Nope, 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 can't have that. Kill them all now.
And did another one spawn there while we, just as we leave? Indeed it did. Yeah. Ah. We can get into the city ruins if we move that box. Push the box made of gears. Operator 6022B. Are you still crying about your <laughs> crying about your fortune? Why did they design androids with the ability to cry? Man. <laughs> Honestly, Tubi, I don't know how I'm supposed to go on living. Well, you could uh, transfer to be a combat system. I don't think I can stand spending one more day in this bunker. You leaving would be bad for me. It would affect mission efficiency. <laughs> That's funny, mission e efficiency. <laughs> Model B combat units require the assistance of an operator. So, to be. This is only going to end badly. I'm going to quickly head back and gather up presumably that other side quest before we head back to resistance. Ah. Hello there. This is our village. I keep it safe. I'm ready to change shifts. <laughs> I'm here to defend this place. But man, I would like a break. Even though none of the villagers want to fight, I have weapons here just in case. Take care to take a look. We need dented. We need lots of things. Oh, hey, he sells machine weapons. A machine sword, a machine axe, a machine spear. Very interesting. I learned how to make weapons from a legendary swordsmith in the forest. I wish he'd come to the village. Welcome. Are you looking for anything? Just a normal diddly D. I wonder where it is. Hmm. This one has a face. Apparently doesn't want to talk to me. Completely fair, really. I love this place. It's so quiet. Solitude makes you stronger. Oh, now that's just depressing. Let's see, maybe come down here. Aha! Oh, hey, humans. Ah, oh no. Sorry, something wrong. Mercy, please just let us go. Um, I think there might be some kind of misunderstanding here. You mean you aren't here to arrest us? No. Wait, why did you think I'd arrest you? We deserted the resistance. You what? We just want to find a place where the two of us can live our lives in peace. Is that so wrong? Please don't tell anyone that we're here, please. We're not with the Resistance, we're your ha. Huh? We don't have any obligation to report you to your superiors. Thank goodness. Still, if you guys stay here, they're gonna find you eventually. We don't have a choice. My locomotion functions have been damaged, and we don't have the necessary materials to perform repairs. 
Uh, I don't suppose you'd bring us the materials we need? Huh? Who, us? We can't get them ourselves. If we leave, this place will be found for certain. I know it's a lot to ask, but... Ah, uh, sure, let's help them. Thank you. We need uh, an elaborate gadget to conduct the repairs. Uh, someone near the abandoned factory. Thank you again. We know you can do this. I mean, why not? Especially considering that... <laughs> I don't think that, like, the resistance... Is oh, hey. Uh, oh, no, I thought that was another one that was immediately there. But no, it's just the big quest on the edge of the minimap. Well, let's uh, quickly go back to map. There's another one there, and then another in there. And then we can make our way back to the resistance. Plus, these guys live next to an amusement park. That automatically makes them, like, slightly more trustworthy. Hello there. Don't tell me you heard the tales of a genius inventor and came to see me straight away, yes. Quite, I'm sure of it, yes, yes. After all, I am the genius whose very name makes the earth itself tremble. Coming to me for advice proves a keen mind and stout heart, yes. Why, if you invest but a little in my efforts, I shall provide you with the desires you're imagining. Well then, care to invest? Ah, why not? Joy, elation, I had not thought myself capable of such. And just between you and I, know that if you provide enough an investment, I'll provide certain dividends in return. Now then, what care to invest? Do I have enough to throw 5,000 at you? Very wise, very wise, a shrewd investor knows to strike when the iron is hot, eh? I look forward to a fruitful working relationship with you in the future, quite. Two days. We just stuck around for two days. Eureka, I've done it. Feast eyes and senses alike on my new invention. Down attack up. Hey, it gave me a lot of items. Alas, but sadly, the staggering work of genius has exhausted my funding. Would you care to make a new investment? Hmm. I wish I knew, like, how much money I had. Take this. Well, when I have more money, I'll definitely come by. Because I bet that he'd actually get something very good if I gave him enough money. I doubt that he'd turn out to be like that one guy in Morrowind. Where, even if you give him a ton of money, he always comes around to thinking that you're out to get him and he'll kill you. And he actually gave me things. Sure, they weren't like the most amazing things, but he still gave me things. That's more than many investors, or like investor seekers in this day and age. And now we can also grab that treasure chest that we passed up on. And loot this dead body. Oh, no, can't, can't t get the dead body. So you're the harpy of the amusement park. Um, hello, do you know of a machine named Jean-Paul who lives in the village? Master Jean-Paul is quite the mysterious gentleman. One might even go so far as to call him suspicious, yet he's so alluring all the same. Suspicious and alluring? Exactly, and I know just the gift for someone of that description. <laughs> Excuse me. You'll deliver it to him straight away, won't you? I won't let that terrible girl in the desert find a way to interfere with our love. Well, we'll deliver it to him eventually. I do really like the music that plays here. Oh, 
Well, then again, we could probably go back, give it to him, and then go through the forest, which leads to the city a bit faster, I think. But I wonder what was up with the beauty-seeking opera bot. Because we saw a bit of her memory while we were blasting her to death. Like somebody reaching up to her. Like a robot. Was it Jean-Paul? Is Jean-Paul like, oh, you are not beautiful enough for me to consider you, and then she went insane? Trying to become the most beautiful? Maybe. Also, was there a... For a moment, I could have sworn, like, it was probably just the early signs of, oh, hey, you can pick up this item. For a moment there, I thought maybe it was, like, a chest hidden behind the tree. Sorry, investment man. I do not have investments for you at this moment. But also, hey, another reason to, like, trust these guys. Two deserters are living here with one with a busted up motor functions. Why are there just dead bodies here? Did somebody piss off the robots and get fucked up? Probably. Hello, Jean-Paul. Do you have a moment? Moments are transi transitory. One cannot possess them. A moment past is a moment lost. A symbol of idle, unrestrained apathy that... Can you please just take this present already? A gift? Let me see. Here you go. Ah, yes, fascinating. The machine who gave this to you said you were both suspicious and alluring. It seems the so-called gift is nothing more than a piece of unadorned glass. Therefore, I can only surmise that. Um, do you want us to bring a message back to the woman who gave this to you? For a mere trifle, no. Okay, then. Let's go. And presumably it wants me to go back to inform... Yep. Oh, we have to slide down this. Slide down it. Oh. Nope, down it. We'll head back. Presumably finish this part of the quest. Head back to the resistance. Then probably uh, check out the desert to find the lost sister who is probably dead and we probably killed. So far, this has been a very interesting game. I wonder if these random spawns have, like, efficient grinding methods attached to them. Did you get my gift to Master Jean-Paul? I must know what he said. Well, he said it was a mere trifle. Such insight, such truth, he sees to the core of things in a way others cannot. I shall follow you for the rest of my days, Master Jean-Paul. That's a long time. And since we went back and forth, I'll quickly check to make sure that nothing else popped up back in the village. Nope, just the investor. And we shall make our way back through the sewers, I guess. We shall let the clown bots live. We were not ordered to eliminate them, and 9S did not uh, protest their existence except for the clown car. Which again, were, we were warned about them by another clown bot saying, Junk dangerous this way. Be warned.
Which was reason enough for us to be able to kill him. And now we shall set a... Ba -ba -ba. Oh, there's a thing out there. We'll go... To the main place first. And then... Head to that mysterious diddly D. Well, now I feel bad for attacking any of these guys. Granted, they're not green-eyed. And they're a bit more mindless than the others, but still. I'm gonna put on Retro Red. Well, let's see what things have here. There's a quest over here. And an item. Say, you're the new Yorha models, aren't you? I guess we are the newest, now that you mention it. Did you need something? I bet new models like you can handle pretty much anything, huh? You might even be able to... No, oh, no, I shouldn't ask. That'd be rude. Listen to the problem. Why don't you tell us what's wrong? Maybe we can help. Oh, well, if you insist. Turns out one of my friends has gone missing. Missing? That doesn't sound good. Where was the friend last seen? At the material storage site where he works. The storage site, huh? Maybe we should check it out. Oh, please, would you? Without him, I... I, I please. Probably also... went AWOL. I'm gonna quickly check my items to see if... There's anything that's only good for selling. <laughs> the lovely choker. What, you're saying that's not an equipable? Drab bracelet, shattered earrings. So, a decent amount of things that can just be sold. Get through the chips. Machine core. What? Can be exchanged for money. These are only good for selling. I almost want to look up if they have any. I'm gonna. I'm gonna quickly look up. That seems a little bit odd to me. That that's only like. No, nope. machine core has no function in crafting, but can be sold to merchants. But that's just a lot of money. Oh, wait, and I forgot. I was also going to sell other things to you. Yeah, past these. So if it does say that it has no other purpose but to be sold for money, then that's basically true. It's not lying to you. Which is interesting. Gonna quickly come over here and buy... Hmm. It summons a massive energy to unleash a devastating blow upon its target. That's hilarious. Produces a massive energy that sprouts the ground in the shape of deadly spears. And storage is sold out. I have all the storage that I need. Presumably. Yep, my... I have all the chips in the world. Let's see. I wonder what that one is compared to the others. I also wonder why that one, 10%. Hmm. A lot of melee defense ones. I 
And I'll have to definitely look through all of my... Because uh, we have seven. And then I'll mess with my chips later. Say, and in a mini, I've got a package for you from a machine called Pascal. A fuel filter? Ah, perfect timing. We're running low. Wait, you've met Pascal? Sure did. So you've been consorting with machines, huh? Just the ones in the village. They're totally harmless, and they also have the means to construct intricate devices that we can't. In exchange, we provide them with oil and other materials. I guess you'd call it a form of commerce. I see. Anyway, if you're headed back there, please take this high viscosity oil to Pascal. Sure. I'm happy that the resistance is working with them. I don't mind that at all. Let me see. Well, since we're gonna do that, we'll check the resistance disappearance. Then I guess we'll go over here and check the wandering couple's, like, intricate item. Check that. Desert Supply Trader. Lost Girl. And just overall, 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 just do things! <coughs> Lots of questing to do! Hey there. Why can't I stop thinking about it? Stop thinking about what? Ah, what? Who are you? We're with Yorha. Anemone told us to make ourselves at home. Oh, right. So what can't you stop thinking about? Oh, it's just... One of my friends has a box that makes music when you open it, and I can't get that damn song out of my head. It's just so beautiful, I've never heard anything like it. And to make it worse, I can only remember the first part of the song. Ah, it's driving me nuts! I wish you'd just come back to camp so I could hear the damn thing again. I can go look for it. Yeah, if we don't help her, she'll never get any work done. It, a box that plays music? Odd. Analysis. The item in question is likely a music box. It should be located in an area where music is playing. Proposal. The local amusement park would be a logical area for reconnaissance. That's some fuzzy logic there, Pod. But hey, we might as well try it. Not like we have any other leads to go. And that also got updated. So it's probably one in the same slash. We need to convince, get the music box for that one to let us in. And I guess next we'll go grab that. just started transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. <laughs> yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. Get that programmed robot racism out of there. Nines. Pascal is certainly nice. They've done nothing against us. In fact, we helped them. We destroyed uh, a mad robot that apparently was causing trouble. And I guess like... Uh, blah, blah, blah. What's the word? Like, if enough androids and Yorha members were going missing... And what's that? It has been several millennia since the aliens and their advanced force, the machine life forms, attacked us. Millennia since mankind was forced to... And I think this is just the same thing. The 
real question is, if these are like interplanetary aliens, and they're able to send a fighting force of robots to the planet, why can't the robots then go to the moon? Well, uh, can we check our email from this one? Attention all androids. In recent years, we have received reports that many peculiar units have been sighted among the machine life forms. We have also heard troubling reports of enemies approaching androids under a so-called banner of peace. Do not let yourself be deceived. The mission entrusted to all androids is the utter destruction of the enemy to the very last. That's not ominous at all. I side with the machines. Like, sure, if a machine is just going to be like, Q, Q, I'll definitely fight back. But, like, if they, if they literally approach under a banner of peace, I'm not going to kill them. There's, like, literally no reason to killing them. But they could be dangerous. We're dangerous. Then we'll check out that. That. The missing girl. And apparently... Oh, yeah, because there is one in there. Ah, so that works out really well. Just do these one by one. But yeah, the fact that the diddly D just said, do not trust them, is just like, why? <laughs> Again, this is probably just me, like, automatically going, these are not alien robots, they are human robots made by humans. And either started to evolve and be like, like, we are living things, and the people going, no, you are workforce. Yeah. And then a war broke out. Or, like, humans used the robots against other humans, leading to, like, mutually assured destruction, except for the rich that got away to the moon. It's just like, ultimately, I do not trust Yorha. I mean, like, another th thing is, like, the Resistance, the actual humans who are living on the surface, or at least I presume that they're humans. For all I know, the Resistance is also made up of older android models. Well, no, because the shopkeeper, the shopkeeper in the Resistance camp specifically said that he has a flesh and blood leg that uh, he doesn't want to change out. So they're probably just like augmented humans while we're full on android. I wonder what's on this building. Hello there. What the hell? Why are you level 20? Are you like a, a master robot martial artist? Well... My strategy of walking away from you and shooting you is working. Well, now you want to talk. Hello. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I am the warrior monk Father Servo, and I seek the enlightened path through perfection in battle. Father Servo? But alas, there is only so much Father Servo is capable of on his own. Perhaps you would be so good as to aid a fellow on his spiritual journey. Um, I'm not sure we should be helping a machine with combat training. Oh, fear of the unknown clouds your mind, young one. 
What's in it for us? Father Servo shall impart upon you all his secret battle arts. I don't know, Tubi. This seems pretty suspicious. I want to help him. The heavens smile upon Father Servo this day. Now then, let us start with a light round of sparring. He has the twirl the world down pat. I didn't do too much damage, but I did put on defense ups from that other one. Other quest. I'm getting too cocky after beating him that first time. And now Father Servo yields. I don't think this guy's quite as tough as he lets on. He has a lot of health for a stubby. Well, it's a nice workout at least. Yes, nice, yes, well, good for you. Now then, as payment for this lesson, you must bring Father Servo a warped wire. What? Listen, you didn't say anything about bring... We sparred, yes, you learned many things, yes, that surely an imbule emolument is uh, to be expected. This guy is shameless. You should be able to retrieve a warped wire from the dinosaur-like machines roaming about nearby. Bring it here before our next bout, if you would be so kind. Have you brought the required item? Yeah, sure, why not? Ah, excellent. Now we can engage in a new form of training. Father Servo will accept your challenge whenever you feel ready. For a fee, of course. Yeah, of course. Ah, we got level up stuff. Well, I'll definitely... Unless, unless, unless he moved. Manager's request. What's that again? <laughs> I got too many quests one by one. <laughs> Let me check. Active quests. John Paul is like, speak to the one in the desert. Manager's request. Ah, the music box. Yeah, so we probably have to help with the manager to then do that. <laughs> Swallow your cynicism and open your pocketbook. Oh, those two resistance members are androids. Hmm. Interesting. But I wonder, like, how many of them are human? Or are none of them human and all of them androids? And we're just Yorha while these are resistance. Leave me alone, jackass. I can't <laughs> deal with your weird hobbies anymore. Like, I care what you think, jerk. What's your weird hobby? Oh, hey there. Listen, just ignore that guy, Selfish Floor, if he's to help me with my work. See, I'm doing a study on the excitement levels of androids while in battle. I need to record combat data from the newest models in order to reach more steady conclusions. Ah, sure, why not? All right. Good to know no, not everyone around that th this joint is a spineless hunk of crap. Here. Oh, we're just gonna start. Well, that guy wouldn't have had anything like unique anyway. All right, see that jerk over there? <laughs> that jerk. I need you to get combat data for him. Science will pay you back for this, I promise. Now, fight. Like Pokemon. You have a lot less health than Father Servo did. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that was great! Hey, did you know that android battle fever is actually quite similar to the human emotion of love? So if we want to know what all kinds of those old human records are always going on about, all we need to do is let our fists fly. Makes this whole thing feel more romantic, don't you think? Um, I still don't have enough data. I could use some more help. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I need to wipe out those enemies over there without taking any damage, like, at all. Zero, zip, nada. Now it's time to fight in the name of science. Now I'll just play this very carefully. Well, now that you're alone. Wow. 
while they're winding up. Leave them alone. Oh, I guess 9S gets uh, some access to my chips because he was doing uh, shockwaves. Yes, I love you, your Goons. I really do. Just look at all this data. Speaking of your Goons, I'm a bit surprised you types are so intellectual. I thought combat models would be a bit more dense, less thinking, more killing and all that. Frankly, giving you any kind of intellect at all strikes me as pointless. Harsh. More data. I need more data. And you are going to help me, right? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. Sure. Still haven't en had enough, huh? I like you. You've got guts. Metaphorically speaking, of course. I want you to take out those enemies over there in 30 seconds or less. Now it's time to fight in the name of science. Dang it, I'm up in the air. At least I don't have to kill him in 30 seconds without getting hit. And I'm getting money out of this from both killing the enemies and the finishing them. How many do you want me to do? Holy crispy crap on his dick. Now this is data. Here, look at this. See, this reaction that proves that android brains contain an algorithm which allows them to derive pleasure from battle. That sounds socio... like uh, sociopathy. Sociopathy. Sociopath behavior. If of that, we'd probably have stopped fighting a long time ago. What a brutally efficient piece of evolution. It's possible this is based on an identical pleasure center in the human brain. Man, those flesh bags really were something. I just need a teensy bit more data. You look like you've got nothing better to do, so give me the hand. Sure. Excellent. You're the best guinea pig gal a gal could ask for. This should be the last bit of data I need. I want you to wipe those. Enemies. Oh, and you can't take any damage either, if that's what I figured. Now it's time to fight in the name of science. I don't think I'll be able to do this one. Yeah. That's what I figured. I think I'll need to level up a bit more before I can properly do that. Get a bit more upgrades to deal damage from range, to take out that energy shield, and then be able to do things and all that. You have red eyes and therefore must die. We got a warped wire. And Father Servo said that that was, like, uh, from the dinosaur-shaped guys. Weird. Or does he consider them to be dinosaur-shaped? But, hey, in the end, we got... Managed to do, uh, three of the four data harvesting quests. But maybe once we run into, like, the spiked shield guys in actual combat, we'll have an idea of how to deal with that. Whoosh. Off we go to the desert again. Um, hello there. Hello? Oh, Pascal? Testing, testing. Uh, Pascal? Is that you? What's uh, going on? Yes. yes, it is me. Many apologies for the sudden transmission. I heard that you were searching for the missing child, yes? Yeah. Well, if you would, please consider this a personal request from myself as well. Go find the child as quickly as you can. She's such a good little girl. She's probably somewhere around the desert at the moment. Exactly why we're here. Like you to find the dented place her sister needs. Got it. Thank you so much. And please be careful, all right? This is going to be a depressing one, isn't it? She's already going to be dead or something. We 
can't even open that chest yet, so we'll leave you guys be. Yeah. I do find it interesting that Pascal has a more human voice than a lot of the other robots. Is that? Ah, there you are. <laughs> You're the little sister. I'm gonna have to guide you through a bunch of enemies, aren't I? Hey there. Are you the machine who came out here looking for a spare part? Huh? Who are you? Your sister asked us to look for you. She did? Really? Really. So, what do you say we head home? Well, I was so scared. Escort oh, mission time. Let's get her back to Pascal's village. How'd you get lost out here anyway? It's all fine now. Oh, come on now. Don't cry. Did you at least find what you needed? She'll be happy to have you home. But I bet she'll be even happier to see you back home safe and sound. Adorable. But come on. We'll go at your speed. Desert always was. It's just an area that lost all its vegetation due to a lack of precipitation. This caused lasting changes in the soil. This is hilarious that 9S is the I don't trust robots. And is just Happily explaining things to the stuff we're walking on <laughs> to this young robot. That is that is a hilarious line. I like ground. Well, you know what? Maybe I don't feel bad about uh, eliminating you guys if this is how you treat poor lost young robots. Jerks. It's not even like they were trying to attack us and she was getting hit, caught in the crossfire. They were attacking her specifically. Wind is just a force caused by changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure and huh. <laughs> That's actually a hard question now that I think about it. Kind of deep breathing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Where does the wind flow from? What do you think, 2B? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> That's also adorable. Asks a question that it, not even 9S can, like, properly explain. You jerks. Leave this poor, innocent, young robot gal alone. She's just out here looking for a part for her sister. But man, that extra drop rate chip is really coming in handy. <laughs> Not talking about that. <laughs> well, machines can't really make children. Neither can androids, now that I think about it. To be? <laughs> little help here? Huh? You're the chatty one. Work it out. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's getting late. <laughs> you home already. Oh, that's just not fair. Get blasted, you giant jerk. How are you hiding in the sand? That's actually a genuine question. 
How the hell is something like you hide in the sand? Again, why are they trying to attack you? I guess it makes sense why you're, you were scared. Everything was out to kill you. How'd you even get through? I wonder if that means that there are other, like, robot villages that are angry at the uh, one in the forest next to the amusement park because they're working with androids in the resistance. <laughs> Thank you. A pink ribbon. Nothing bad better happen to her. I swear, game. <laughs> well, that was exhausting. Not the worst yeah. escort mission, at least. But before that, we have to go talk to the harpy in the desert. <laughs> that the one Jean-Paul follower hates for daring to be another Jean-Paul follower. But very interesting that, like, all of these robots were attacking... Then again, it could be that she was with us, and we did do a genocide. So, like... Could be our fault. Okay, yeah, we need to go down deeper. We probably can't even go into that android graveyard of a place. Again, because it all got destroyed. But the real question is, how is, like, the word of Jean-Paul making it all the way out here? That's a real question. We fly through the sky. For some reason, that reminded me of a Cadicorous bit. Let's go fly a wall. But also hilarious of the giant little girl robot asking where children come from, considering that these robots down here in the genocide zone were trying to make children. Thank God I didn't check over here, or you all would be dead. Wife machine? Outsider. Excuse me? Hello there. Ack! Huh? You came here from Master Jean Paul's village, didn't you? I can tell. I can smell him on you. Mm, uh. Okay, that's weird. Jean-Paul is wonderful. He pursues new knowledge with a passion that is almost indescribable. I admire him as I do no other. You have issues. And you clearly lack a discerning eye. I bet men take advantage of you all the time. Not exactly. Ah, right. I found something that Master Jean-Paul is sure to be interested in. Please take it to him with all speed. I've been thinking about something. What? Do you think this fellow is being a little too... <laughs> what? Why was his name censored? No, seriously, why was his name censored? I, I wasn't expecting that. What? <laughs> what? Do they just hate Jean-Paul that much that they're like, we must censor his name from all existence? 
Let's see. I wonder what is over. That's probably back past the storage zone. That's the manager's request in the amusement park. And then a fucking lot of them have opened up here. All right. Well, guess we're heading to the amusement park and then we'll cut through. Let me see. How much money do I have? I'm going to save up 20,000 G and invest in the robot. In the scientist, man. See what happens. I'll either be scammed out of brain and soul, or I'm gonna get something good. Although I do find it funny that, like, the moment the, like, good robots show up, I just get exploded in the amount of subquests that I can do. But I do find it kind of funny that, like, at least these, like, robots, the good robots, like, seem a bit more human than, like, the Yorha units, at least. Like, even though many of the Yorha units have gone like, oh, I asked her out, or we were in a relationship. Also, I just realized I don't think I've seen a single, like, easily discernible, like, uh, male-presenting Yorha unit aside from 9S. Like, maybe in one of the, like, in the hangar there might be one, but it's hard to tell when they're all covered in, like, black leather. And I can't control the camera angle. Because, like, of course there's a bunch of, uh, male androids in, like, the Resistance. Again, it's just kind of funny, because it's like... It, the Resistance androids, like, I thought they were just humans, but apparently no, they're just Resistance androids. So I wonder why that is. Why there's, like, Resistance androids and then there's Yorha androids. I wonder what that means. I also wonder if 9S even knows how human children are made. Because he's an android. He doesn't even know what a music box is. I'm going to quickly go through my chips. Let's see. Equipped chips. HP gauge, definitely keep. Hmm. That's only two, so we shouldn't... Like, all of these are, like, super, super easy. So I don't really have much, like, use. Like, maybe damage values. Like, you know what? Damage values and uh, sound weren't really giving me much. Well, I probably could just go and, uh, oh, uh, optimize down here. Now, well, let's see. I'd save points, definitely keep. Shockwave, melee defense, melee defense, definitely. Max HP, max HP. Increase evade distance. Maybe not. Experience game, sure. And then the two auto uses. Well, let me see. What ones do I want to throw in there, at, if at all? There is a, like, a... 
I was, I'm one away. Another melee defense, but it's 15. Maybe another shockwave, and they could stack up. Let's see. Experience gang up, I'll definitely keep. Remove you. Optimize. Because a fence heal is pretty nice. If I add that, then we'd go to 24, and Shockwave requires 10. While Offensive Heal is 9, because it recovers 2% of damage dealt as HP. Ain't nothing. But I think I'll put on the other Shockwave. That could come in handy. <laughs> From YouTube, hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. I'm doing a bunch of side quests in Near Automata. We found friendly robots. Which is just increasing the amount I'm thinking that Yorha is the bad guy. I guess we could see about fighting Master Father Servo on our way. Since he's right here. How these robots got the idea of, like, a master martial artist anyway? Oh, he upgraded. Hello, Father Servo. Back for more, my child. Be warned, Father Servo has used your previous gifts to make himself even stronger. How did you use just a wire to get two axes? Would you like to test yourself against this new modification? Time is a great wheel, yet do not expect things to transpire as they did when we last met. Oh, now he's level 30. Right, so you'll be level 40 if I fight you again. Yeesh. I do not want to get hit by that, but my dodges aren't going too good. Luckily, you are very predictable. God, I would hate for you to actually be... It's concerning that this is a spar. I'd hate for you to actually be a threat. But hey, considering that I'm ha less than half your level, I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh. Oh! He's trying new attacks at the end of his health bar. At least he has a lot of telegraphing to his attacks. Stop, no more. Whew. You happy now? Let us discuss the fee. Oh, come on, you're the one who wanted to test. Would you truly refuse a single request from this old monk? Okay, don't even start with me. Father Servo surrendered all worldly possessions and took numerous vows. Yet you would deny him even a simple request. All right, all right, fine. What do you want this time? One memory alloy and one broken circuit. The world moves ever on, my child, so do not dawdle. Did you stop calling me that already? Have you brought the request? Sure. I got that junk you wanted. Ah, excellent. 
Now Father Servo can modify himself anew. When you return, he will be stronger than ever. Oh, I can't wait for that. I'll definitely need to level up a bit more before fighting him again. Because he went from level 20 to level 30, which means he's going to go from level 30 to level 40 with that modification. I was trying to make our way to the resistance camp. Trying to go over the buildings is a little bit hard. I think I'll just go back the normal way. Or, well, as normal as possible. Zoo. I wonder if we can... Oh, hey. Item. Aha! I want to set up that barricade. The well, I keep saying the humans because the resistance looks so human-y. And I just... It's, it's a little weird that there's, like, androids who aren't Yorha, but they're resistance, and the Yorha androids work with the resistance. It's like, I don't know. Oh, wait, we don't want to go here. We want to go to the amusement park. Which will go through the sewers to the amusement park, find, hopefully, a music box... Then head to the robot village to talk with people. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What about the, uh... Pink ribbon. Accessory. Popular among androids of all ages. I look ridiculous. But now we can kill enemies while looking ridiculous. Also, come to think of it, what is our main diddly D right now? Oh, yeah, he's giving a, the, like, oil thing from an enemy to Pascal. Which works out. All the side quests are kind of right next to each other. One of these days, there's just going to be a random giant robot enemy in here, like a robot alligator. waiting to chomp at my tits. But again, I swear, one of these days I better not come back to the village just to find it destroyed. I would hate that. Don't worry, we will let you live. Welcome. Ah, apparently the music box gets added there. I wonder what inspired, like, the people behind this game to make the chaos language. Is this the music box she was looking for? It is a one. This thing is all rusted over. Look, a corpse. <laughs> yeah. You think the box belonged to her? Poor girl died a long time ago by the looks of it. Yeesh. Let's bring this back to her friend. Well, that's kind of dark. Also, how did the pod go, hmm, I assume the music box will be at the uh, amusement park. Only for it to turn out that's where, like, apparently that android went and died. How did she die at the amusement park? Sorry, half-wit scientist robot, I am not here to give you money, but I will take this item off your hands. 
game. It's not even... Ah, because I had to get on the platform super properly. Or it just kept me in the 2D platforming control scheme. First things first, we will give to Pascal. Oh, you brought me the, uh, some high viscosity oil. An enemy is such a kind and understanding. If only all androids and machines could live together in peace like this. Never gonna happen. I guess not. I'd appreciate it if you could help out some of the other machines as well, though. What was that noise? What's that noise? Tubi, this is an emergency transmission from the bunker. We're reading a Goliath class enemy inside the city ruins, and it looks like there are a ton of other machines there with it. Well, that's not All good. Our units should proceed and engage immediately. The Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it. I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. Hopefully I can turn in the quests. Damn it. Story got in the way. But I have quests to turn in, damn you. But I guess we went story mode. Because uh, we're in story mode, we can't talk to her. But maybe if we, like, leave the area and come back. That would be mean if the game, like, made it impossible for me. To finish those quests. Well... Let's go fight a Goliath class, diddly D. Well, that's big. Two B, command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. I wonder, like, uh, did taking off the bow get rid of my color? Or did it because I took it off right before all the color was going to go away? Oh boy. What's a Goliath class machine doing here in the city ruins? I'm going to assume that, like, the fact that the sparks kind of are still red and the lock-on of the missiles are still red. That this is, like, an intentional thing. What even are you? It's the... It's one of the ones from the... The C platform. It's come for revenge. This one's gonna talk plainly to us and say, You killed my family. So prepare to die. This is Anigo Montoya. As the giant robot. Awesome music, I gotta say. Like, what if the Goliath-class monster titan destroyed the building?
Man, you are probably here for revenge, aren't you? You are very much targeting me. I didn't get to my flight units. Unless we're supposed to be ignoring you and going for our flight units. But I do not believe that. We're doing a lot of damage to you. Oh, that actually hit. How dare. You cannot hit me. That is illegal. We're actually doing a lot of damage to you. It, it has been a, like a little bit since we last fought a Goliath like you. Did you get struck by lightning? Uh, how do we? Well, the game wants me to go this way. Oh. How are we supposed to get to these from that? Well, I guess, oh, this is the same thing as the, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Be careful. The skies are packed with anti-air weapons. Make sure to approach at low another one but I better be able to go finish my quests So there's two of them. Unless these guys are like... Unless there's gonna be like another one. Oh, so I got super... Bye-bye. We better not be using these flight units to attack the village. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Are these things ever dead? Yeah. What the fuck? And it exploded. What happened? Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Were they? Were they actually? Because I don't think I believe you. I'll need to see one. Again, I better be able to finish those quests back in the village. Because I think that's a little bit mean game to give me a bunch of quests that are so close to... Meh. Especially because Pascal is like super there early. Okay, I can, it looks like. This is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. Are they just like people from Mars? Not fighting the enemy? Interesting. I used command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. Hmm. Excuse it me. Seems to be underground. Like way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. Is this actually gonna become a like what's the word? Like uh I'm going to set back to borderless so I can actually control things better. 
Because for some reason, every single time I open this game, it, like, shifts the... my other windows around slightly. I had to move chat a little bit. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? Nope. Oh, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> the aliens appear and... But yeah, my guess at this point is the aliens are just the working class people. That's probably what it actually is. We'll go check that out. Current destination, far below ground. So what's this then? A different unknown. So we'll ignore you as we do those, those. I guess, give the diddly D. Then head back to the amusement park and village to finish quests. But yeah, my now, my now theory is the rich people left for the moon while the poor people went underground. And considering that the... Like, uh... Like, simpler aliens? Or, like, simpler robots? Are the quote-unquote alien ones? I'm just going to forever think that, like, these are the working-class robots. 2B, we picked up the signal under the caved-in area. Let's go check it out. I have quests to do. And then we can do main story stuff next time that I stream this. Hello there. Did you also go a wall, or did you get stuck here? Hey, you're of Yorha, right? Hmm. Look, I know this is a bit out of the blue, but can you help me? I've got something of an emergency on my hands. It seems that some machine life forms have stolen several plug-in chips containing classified data. If they realize that what we, they have, we're gonna be in big trouble. Is this like... What's the word? Contraband... Chips, and you just... Don't want them to fall into the wrong hands. Thanks. I have to track them down a total of three. I'll go ahead and send you the signal code so you can track them. They're all located somewhere in the city, so hopefully it won't take too long. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. Marking approximate location on map. <laughs> working hierarchy of robots? It's mostly just the fact that I think the working class would maybe come into control of the normal, like, stubby robots. And then, like, after the working class were trying to rise up, the rich probably went to their moon bunker and launched a bunch of nukes. Hey there. I want to talk to you. Or am I supposed to shoot you? What does that even mean? Do I need to get, like, in my... Well, I guess I can't do that quest yet. Or maybe I need to get in my, like, flight suits to do you or something? I don't know. I have no idea what that one is about. Only speed will dictate, but I can't fly. But yeah, it just seems a little convenient that, like, the super advanced androids come from the, the moon while the stubbies stay down below. Blast it out of here. Man. The drop? 
thingy thing drops a ton, I'm super happy. Give me all those items. So I can't do you. I guess we'll drop by, do that, skip around you. Like, hmm. Because then again, I could probably hit these on my way to the village. But we'll see. We'll head back to the diddly D, the resistance. And then see if what happens about going to the amusement park and the robot village. They should just get rid of that barricade. And I can just easily come here from that area. All right, what quest you got for me? Oh, now there's a robot-headed guy. Are you actually not androids, but like a stubby that placed its head on a... ...android body? Hmm, is something wrong? You're from your, all right. I don't suppose you'd... The thing is, I recently came up on the losing end of a scuffle of some machine life forms. The battle ended up corrupting a portion of my memory, which is a serious pain, as I'm sure you can imagine. Take these photographs, for instance. I have no idea what they were, uh, when they were taken, or even what they are. I only know that they're, they're important. That looks like an oasis. Well, I know that one. Uh, do not know that one. I recognize that you're busy, but if you have time to help me out, I'd appreciate it. Sure. Thank you so much. If you find the location shown in any of these photos, please send me the coordinates. Hopefully they'll help me recover my memories. We'll let you know if we find anything. Thank you. Well, I know once. Can we talk to her? Nope, we have to do it probably from the location. Ah, this is amazing. This head is amazing. Put this on and you can see the whole world. Ask me anything, anything. I'm omniscient and omnipotent. Fire a question at me. It's hard to see a 3D map. Ah, uh, that's where the satellite information is put in the map data. The satellite camera doesn't have a very good resolution, so you can't see fine details or tell what's underground. Other androids are also dissatisfied with it, but that's the way it is, I'm afraid. Some choose to walk their own two feet to discover things for themselves. Hint, hint. You'll have to get used to it. Amusing. Let's see, how much money do I have? Uh, ba ba ba, seventeen thousand. Hmm. These places look familiar. One looks like the amusement. Oh, park. from that one quest. One looks like the desert, and one looks like the forest. Let's keep our eyes open next time we're in any of those areas. Exactly. Let's see. Do I have any just sellables? Okay, a few machine cores. Just out of nowhere. That are only good for selling. Hmm. I have the money. I could probably... Like, uh... Hmm, cost 12. For an attack one. I do a lot of ranged attacking. I'm gonna try something. I wanna see. You. You have, you have s fusion. What is fusion? You cannot use this chip because you have no chips with the same ability and rank. Interesting. Select chip to fuse a base chip. Create chip. Hmm. Because I thought, like, oh, if you had two chips, you could mash them together. But 
But this is just like... Hmm. Hmm. Confusing. Yeah, because my thought was, like, you take two redundant ships, like, a, a ranged attack up and a ranged attack up, put them together, and you'd get, like, one ship that's better than the two of them, but... Doesn't seem to be. Where's a cheap, sh a cheap chip? Like a this shockwave. The selected chip is currently equipped to a chipset. If you fuse it, it'll be removed from it. Hmm. Okay. Then let's actually create chip. Oh. Oh. So that is what it is. You just don't have to select them. Got you. Okay. Understandable. I think I get that now. So if you do, like, you just se select one of them, and it's like, oh, ha ha ba 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 ba. Got you. Aha. Uh -huh. So then I would, like, take you, bash you together. And it would be an evade of evade range two. Got you. You do need redundant ones, but it just doesn't force you to like grab them. I am interested, so I'm gonna grab at least that. Although that would also be cool, maybe, maybe. But interesting, interesting. But that's weird. Because this one is add a weak shockwave to attack weapons. And then if we upgrade it, plus one, it is add a slightly weak shockwave. So I guess, like, it's a... Because, like, weak is more weak than slightly weak, I guess. Counter an atta enemy attack to send back 30% of damage. So, like, from the looks of things, these upgraded ones are at least as good as the two put together... If not as good as both of them put together, plus a little bit. And plus it frees up slots. Hmm. Well, actually... Melee defense plus three to melee defense plus four. Only makes it reduced by 15% rather than 20 if you paired them together. But at the same time, that's kind of an extreme like boost in power. So it definitely seems like it depends on each one. Very interesting. I'll definitely need to take a look at that more. That is very interesting. So if you had, like, uh, the money to spend, you'd be able to do all kinds of things. And then if we went optimize, we have roughly 12 to use.
Ah, just a little too much for my ranged attack diddly D. I guess we can put some like light ones in. Definitely not taunt up. Well, actually. I guess I'll remove you and put uh, offensive healing. And. Ah, oh, dang it. Not enough there either. I am a fool. So now we only have eight to use. Which I guess. Melee defense. Oh, I'll take this item. And then talk to the manager request. Come on. Get on the, the ladder. Your friend is dead. Excuse me. Is this the music box you were looking for? That's it. Where did you find it? In the amusement park, next to the corpse of an android. Maybe that was its owner? Oh. Was she... Oh, it's awfully rusty, but with a little work, I should be able to get it playing again. Of course. Thank you for bringing the box to me. Now I can finally concentrate on my work again. Oh, and you two are welcome to enter the back any time you like from now on. I play favorites with this. And now it all went red. Fidel. Three numbers. I wonder if it's a set of coordinates. Target point, maybe? Or a hidden location? No way to tell. I'll add them to the map regardless. Because we're still in that side scrolly thing. I want to do what to do. What's wrong? Maybe I can help you out. So you're from the bunker, right? Well, it turns out I have some packages that I need transporting, but I can't get them out of storage. One of my superiors was in charge of it, but now I have to do it, and there's so much stuff that I can't possibly move it. He's gonna have my head for this. I'm gonna get those packages for transport out there. Think you can get the goods for me? Sure. Great. Thanks a million. Oh, we actually have to go in there. Marking objects likely to be the targeted packages. I can't get them out like this. Ugh. Better make a path first. Hmm. Let's see, cuz. <coughs> All right, uh, idea. Because if we push you... That won't block anything. Because I was looking at the one in the bottom right. That box, and I wouldn't be able to move it without risking... Blocking, uh... The other packages in. That should be all of the packages. Yeah, but there's an item down here. You can't tell me to not take this item, too. Because it had, like, the icon, I thought that was, like, a ne necessary thing. You went and found everything. Talk about a lifesaver. You really need to organize your storage area. I could barely walk in there. Seriously, you need to clean that place up. I know, I know. I'll take it up with my superior. Here's a little something for your trouble. Huh. But they mentioned, like, coordinates. 
which is interesting, I'm gonna say, oh, that's photographs. Resistance disappearance, hmm. Jesus, there's a lot in the desert now. All right, so what we'll probably do is make our way... Like, we're not going to go there. Ah, because it's underground. We're going to head to the village if we can. Is the music box now like... For a moment there I thought the music box was going to be like a permanent piece. Of like the resistance. Like a uh, base theme. I just noticed how long we've been going. So we're definitely going to... Oh. Now these guys are enemies now. But we'll go and uh, to the... Amusement park and the village. And, uh... That'll probably be it. Because we've been going for a while. This game has just captivated me. Destroyed the... Huh. Are we supposed to go around the way now? Probably meant to go around the way. And since we can go around the way... We'll uh, fight those things. Oh hey, we got email. Late notification received from access point. Huh, can we climb on you? I'm interested, I want to climb on you. Why did you come? And plus, if we climb you, we have a vantage point to maybe look down a bit. I do wonder if it attacked out of retaliation for what happened to the other ones. You know, the ones that it took black boxing? Get up there for the other contraband. Don't make me kill you, hog. Ah, roots. Jesus. Get out of here. So the flying ones took the chip this time. What kind of data did those chips have on them? And we got the plug-in chip. Requested plug-in chip obtained. And we'll go do that. 
Work our way around, back to the village and the amusement park. Alert. The specifications of this plug-in chip are unusual. Oh. This chip is a model used exclusively by Yorha units. Then how did the there resistance no get Yorha Android to possess it? A Yorha only chip? What the hell is that? Chicken? Oh, it's the dinosaur thing the guy was talking about. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? It can turn its tail into a dick. Give me your power. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to put down my sword again. I think I pressed the wrong thing trying to get my ba ba ba. Trying to think. Uh, what's the word? Trying to get my usables ready. I also, okay, I kind of find it funny that, like, uh, basically the colony of stubbies on legs uses just an advanced version of their pinwheel arm attack. They're still stubbies at heart. I'm going to assume that they're on the roof. Yeah, how did that resistance guy? I'm going to presume that it's the one with the laser. My gun's better than your gun. Give me that plug-in chip. Alert. Incoming message from command. Yes. Was that resistance guy killing? Be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug-in chips that contain classified information. And how that one guy get him? Seek out whatever intel you can regarding their current whereabouts and status. Roger. Chips with classified data, is it? And ships that are only supposed to be owned by Yorha units, hmm? Like, again, they're all androids. So, like, what makes them different? How come they're, like, non-Yorha? Androids, and they're part of the resistance. But then, like, Yorha helps the resistance. Oh man, you really saved my bacon. Hmm, I'll take those chips from you now. Now I'm wondering. Like, what is... Like, why is this a decision? Because Pod is saying that these are chips only supposed to be owned by Yorha androids. Then we get a diddly D saying, hey, beware. A Yorha unit went away and disappeared. Like, why would we hand them over? But at the same time, that almost me begs the question of, like, why wouldn't you? Hmm. 
I'm trying to think. Because, like, it's one thing. I wish that we could, like, confront him. Hmm. And it's not even like, hmm. Because it's refuse. If we refuse, hmm. So I don't know. I don't know. Because if we refuse, would that end the quest? Or would it just be like, oh, we are not giving it to you right now. And it expects you to go on. I'm just... I'm just trying to think. Because, uh, like, again, I just wish that we could get more info from this. I guess refuse? Uh, why not? You don't actually suspect me of something, do you? Come on, I need those chips. Oh. Before I give you the chips, I need you to answer a question. Do you know anything about a missing Yorha unit in the area? No. You sure? Look, just forget about the chips. See ya. But then it's still over him. Just forget about the chips, it says. Let's see. Deliver them? It just says deliver them. Huh. I thought we'd, like, confront him more. So... Unless there's, like, a... Is there, like, someplace else we could dump the chips? Like, if we go... Like, we can't take them to the bunker with us. We can't take them to the bunker with us, so... At least I don't think we can. Because that's Mr. Servo... Halfwood Inventor, Jean-Paul. Hmm. Because, like, if it was just, like... Because I thought it would be, like, oh, hand them over, or, like, take him in. But it doesn't seem like there's any other thing, so I guess we have to give it to him? Okay. Thank you. Oh, I know this isn't much, but please take it. Well, that's a decent amount for me. And... Pod program gravity. I'm glad I can trust you guys. Next time we meet, I'll be sure to introduce you to my family. Weird that it was just like a choice, but not a choice. After handing the play, the resistance member seems happy and says, so Next time you meet. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> That's just not how I was expecting that to go. I thought that would be like a ah, we have to like. Take this guy down for what he did. Okay, we're gonna zoop de loop around and try. Well, yeah, because there is a thing at the entrance, and then we can go to the diddly dee. Because I was just expecting it to be like a. But he didn't even qualify his actions. Of like. Why he did it. Or anything, like. Did he even do anything? Did he find a dead Yorha agent and take the chips? And if he... And then he lost the chips? And then he asks another Yorha unit to get the chips again? And then the quest is just like, hey... You... you unless, like, they come to think of it, like, maybe it was possible that there was a alternate way to do it like way down the line if you held on to the chips you could hand them over to Yorha or something I don't know but that feels like such a I don't know that guy didn't even have any voice lines like I don't know but yeah it is interesting that these enemies now are like, actively fighting. Probably because the signal is, like, piercing from the ground and thus giving them orders. <laughs> I hope that the village doesn't turn evil. Because I like the village. 
no matter how robo-racist 9S is. Oh great, these guys have axes now. Again, why would aliens be fighting with... I was gonna say, why would aliens be fighting with axes? I am fighting with swords. Oh, hey. Clown. Hello! You're an android, are you not? Let me ask you something. Do you think the world is full of love? Eh, might be. Don't you think we all need to express more happiness in our daily lives? I suppose. Exactly! In which case, you seem just like the person to help me make this world a better place. Sure, I guess. Really? Do you believe in the dream of connecting the entire world with love? Sure. I see, I see. Then perhaps I can believe in you. You see, there are many machines who detest fighting. As such, I've decided to gather them together in order to hold a parade. It would be a parade of love and friendship for all. However, as it turns out, there are many among us who frown upon such outspoken expressions of peace. Therefore, I'm hoping you'll protect our parade in order to ensure the successful disp dispensation of its wonderful message. Sure. Thank you for your support. If you could keep my companions safe while we conduct the parade, I would be ever so happy. Now then, let us show everyone the power of friendship. So it's just kind of like... We want a peaceful parade. So if anybody tries to get in our way, murk them for us. Oh god, these guys are high level. And they took a lot of damage from that. Or they are. I don't think these guys are going to survive. These guys are... Why are they so high level? Why is this quest given to us this early? Like, why are there guys trying to mark this parade? Spread love through violence, I guess. No more fighting as we fight. Sharing the happiness of killing people who want to kill you. Yeah, I was not prepared for this because why is this such a high level mission and they're giving it to us at this at this point? It better not be tied to how many survive.
Why are there so many trying to mark this parade? This is just annoying. This is a stupid mission to give this at this point game. If you're not going to actually give you like a level recommendation. It's just very stupid. Like it's one thing it's like, ah, here's a single quit running away, you fucking pussy. Cause that just really annoys me. That they didn't even give you a level recommendation. And they're just like, ah, you'll find out. And just waste my time on something I physically cannot do. And it's mostly because these things are just bullet sponges. And that's basically it. And it's like continuing the combat of the mission even though the mission is over. Can't even hurt his allies, how dare you. Yeah, there's just nothing else to say. That's just a stupid mission to give at this point, game. Because, like, if it was just, like, only because these things have ridiculously high health because of their levels and nothing else. Like, it would be one thing if I could be, like, a fleshy distraction for the parade to go on, but no! They expect you to fight all this with an escort of hopelessly lost people. At least killing all these high-level enemies should give me a decent amount of experience. Jesus Christ, why are you firing so fast? Now quit spawning the enemies that were trying to spawn in for that mission. How dare you? There was a random dead body there when I was trying to pick up an item. At least I got a lot of items out of it. And also know that I can jump over that path, I guess, but... Why in the world would they have a level, like, 35, it seems, minimum, like, quest... At a point when the player is, like, more than likely not even... Like, level, f like, 25 yet. You try to run after instigating war? How dare you? How dare you twirly whirl arms at me? We will shoot you to death. And we will ignore this mission for now. And come back when we can reliably annihilate those enemies. At a decent clip. Why does this place feel darker than it did before? Now we head to the amusement park. And see about things. Maybe throw $20,000 reduce. How much money do I have, dear quest tab? 
Sixty thousand. I can spare twenty thousand for the mad scientist. You better not ask for a parade as well. Now I'm afraid to take any quests from anybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to the amusement park. Here's your stamp card. If you collect all the stamps, you'll win a free prize. You'll find the stamps inside the amusement park. Make sure to search high and low. And just between you and me, I hear that the prizes are more than just free. They're deluxe. Off you go, then. Good luck and have fun. Interesting. They threw in a collectathon. Well, that's not really a hidden thing if it is. That's funny. It is advisable to like. Look for all the stamps. That's funny. Oh, hello, crying machine. So sad. I guess you want a dumb stamp, huh? Fine, I'll stamp with my, my tears. Harsh. Must suck being a clown. So it could be NPCs or just an item. Back off, asshole! We machines are alive, you gathered! You should die. All of you should die! And this goddamn stamp should die, too! Well, he didn't attack us. That's more to be said than, like, your haw, I guess. Quit taking control of my camera away. What the fuck? What are you doing? Yahoo! Stamps, stamps, stamps! One stamp coming up. Oh yeah, I love stamps. Let's do this thing! Well, he's enthusiastic about his work, I guess. I find it kind of funny that they had to, like, super rev up like the stamp bots to make sure you actually find them. Hold on. This is one of the places in that resistance member's photographs. Yes. Better record the coordinates. <laughs> the world is hilarious. A stamp, sure, I'll stamp whatever you want. <laughs> Where did this stamp guy even come from? What even is the reward for getting all the stamps? Well, you're just disturbing, aren't you? Say, you, you want a stamp? Here, take it. <laughs> I feel like all of the weirdos are the ones giving out the stamps. Doesn't know that they're also playing creepy carnival music. How do we open those other chests? How do they even expect you to get this, like, chest? Because I can't get past the 2D section. Search more for the stamp. Ah, maybe this is it. Stamp discovered. Proposal. Imprint the 
stamp upon the card. Well, I guess that just goes to show that Pod is not all that intelligent. He just repeated himself. You know, he could jump over the 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 fence from any of those. But no, we have to go through all the way. The programmers designed the whole thing. Junk disappeared. And you are welcome. Unless another tank rolls out. You want a stamp? Kill this tank. Look for the stamp. That's not a stamp. Maybe the only way to get the stamp was through the tank and we killed him. He was just a happy stamp tank. But, well, what the hell? Is that a dead body? Died to the tank, did ya? Well, now your soul is mine. Sucks to be you. Stamp discovered. Proposal. Imprint the stamp upon the card. And I don't think that we can ride the... Oh, no, we can. Here it comes. Works for me. Are we going to fight junk monsters again? How many fireworks does this place have? They've been going for days. Well, apparently not all the junk disappeared. Because there are still some who are quite junky. They're like, how dare you jump upon our sacred roller coaster? The sacred roller coaster is not meant to be ridden, you fiend. Oh, wait a minute. That heart wasn't blasted through. That heart is actually... Oh! We don't jump off this time. That's funny. I'd like to get off the ride, Mr. Bones. There we go. I had to dodge off it. Funny how the first time we ride it, the game is like, you must jump from it to save yourselves. The second time, ah, we'll just go all the way through. Interesting. Still no idea how I'm supposed to get that one treasure chest. Like, unless there's a place I meant to jump on, because, like, the game won't let me go, like, forward or back on the sideways paths, which makes sense. They're sideways paths, but it's just a little annoying because there's an obvious chest there that I just, I can't get. Well, now we'll head into the opera house. Gotta get all the stamps for that deluxe prize. But yeah, I always thought that that heart was, like, blasted through the building. No. It's a part of the architecture. Is the last stamp gonna be like... I don't know why, but that was kind of disturbing. What's this? Bot's got talent. Oh, they're putting on Shakespeare. Juliet 1. Romeo 1. Juliet. 
Juliet too. I don't think this is how Shakespeare went. Are they all gonna fight to the death? Or is there like a single bot for every line? Oh no, this is just not at all how it's meant to go. <laughs> well, when they act like this, it's no wonder why Yorha thinks of them. Looks like the Juliets are gonna win. <laughs> Piss it off. And Juliet did win. Well. How did they even come up with the idea of multiple Romeos and Juliets? It's almost like the receptionist wasn't even expecting that. So we started out three Romeos and three Juliets, and now there are none. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. Bravo, truly a masterful, spectacular performance. And all that's left, I think, is now in the elevator. But I wonder... <laughs> what even was that, really? Oh, now we're looking this way. Last time we were looking, like, uh... From the front the entire time. Fear the power of my gun turret. I don't think this one is doing too well. Why do you have so much health? Oh, it's a zombie apocalypse. What the fuck? What the hell? Jesus Christ! Why are these guys so tanky? And why are there so many of them? At least this, this seems to be the all of them. This way. Jump. Just 
god, there's so many of them. They're so tanky. One by one they fall. One by one they fall. Why is one of the stamp bods like it? Or is this like all the like extra stamp bots? And they all just went insane down here. They're dropping a lot of items. Well, at least it was happy about it. I don't think the camera's supposed to be pointing that way, considering what we can see to the left. Huh. Well, that was just interesting. It was just a zombie apocalypse. It was just extra weird considering the game was like, ah, there, like, there's a single one. Take it from the single one. And then there was a million. It's weird. Right in the elevator. And now we can go get the deluxe prize, which hopefully isn't death. And then we can make our way to the village and end the stream, because we've been going for almost five hours, and I did not mean that. I did not mean to go for five hours. The game just took me in. Hello, stamp bot. Hey, you got all the stamps. Great job. Did you enjoy your time here? Or maybe not. Well, it doesn't really matter, though I'm sure you realize that by now. Whether or not you enjoy something simply depends on your own heart. This place is but a mirror that reflects one's true self back at them. Anyway, here you go. One deluxe prize coming up. Come again any time. Ah, gave me precious earrings, large recovery, fast cooldown chip, broken circuits, a lot of money, and a lot of experience. Hey, I'd, I'd say that's worth it. But that was also kind of philosophical of that stamp bot. And again, the music is just so good. But now I'm curious. After all that, how much money do I have? I have over 70,000. We are giving that 20,000 to the scientist bot. He's getting $20,000. 20,000 20, gears and bolts. I was walking through. I think the game might be like crumbling the longer I play it. Which reminds me, that kind of happened uh, when I played uh, Vampire the Masquerade. I didn't play it on uh, stream, I just played it on my own time. But one, like, a uh, play session, I apparently went so long that, like, the source engine was kind of crumbling because, like, at one point I was in a, like, a, a hotel suite and all of the locks were beer bottles. 
You have currently invested in me the tune of 75,000. Would you possibly be able to invest in the inventions of the world's foremost? Joy elation. Have the most. Very wise, very wise. A shrewd investor knows when to strike the iron is hot. I look forward to a fruitful and working relationship in the future. Yorick, I have done it. Feast your eyes and senses alike upon my new invention. Reset to a meteorite. Impact speed. Not right now. Chuh, pardon. You accuse me of clicking my tongue in your general direction. Horrors. I would not. I would never. Just not yet. So he's probably just like, hey, you have nothing better to spend your money on. Spend it on him kind of thing. What even is a meteorite? Now I want to look. Would be funny if it was just something to sell. But we keep our stamp card. And all the stamps. An old rusty machine fossil. Yeah, for that. Drab bracelet. Shattered earlings. Thick dictionary. Ah, it's an upgrade thing, apparently. I presume. Okay, good. The village is intact. Oh, he, he said a thing, but I went too fast. What is reset? Five chance of reviving with 20% HP upon death. Huh. up through all the chips can get to the things that I can sell there you go that's it now my companion can fix what's been ailing him I'm so glad we trusted you We'll leave this place as soon as we can. Please pray for our safe passage. Thank you for bringing my sister home. I'm feeling much better thanks to the part she found. Please take this. Blue ribbon, 5000G, and a level up. And it's playing nice music. Oh, and unit data got upgraded. Small stubby. Medium biped. Reverse jointed Goliath. This Goliath class machine life form is a vivid reminder of the dinosaurs of antiquity. <laughs> small. Small flyer. Machine life forms that are part of the colony at Pascal's village, despite their machine origins, they despise conflict in all forms, and will really cut themselves off from their network as a result. They now live a peaceful existence deep in the forest, along with the other machines who share their pacifist beliefs. A pacifist machine life form that despises conflict and strives endlessly for peace with humanity. This unit possesses incredible intelligence, as well as a deep interest in history of both humans and machines. Very interesting. Peculiar machines. Oh, hey, we got this guy in all his naked glory. This unit has achieved an unusual level of evolution among machine life forms, as it possesses a strong resemblance to androids. Born naked from a cocoon of machine life forms, its movement was initially quite clumsy. It grew rapidly, however, and promptly began learning new methods of attack. So, so they are different. It first appeared after splitting off from another machine. The Goliath Tank. Found in the ruins of an amusement park, this tank-like Goliath-class machine life form has a tread-based system of locomotion that lets it cover all manner of terrain. Appearance-wise, the unit seems to be part of the park itself, right down to its decorative lights and turret that fires colorful confetti. Strangely enough, it does also insist on obeying archaic traffic laws, even going as far as using turn signals and brake lights. 
a Goliath-class machine life form modeled after an opera singer. This unit attacked foes using the repurposed bodies of living androids. Obsessed with a certain other machine life form, she put great thought into her appearance, even going as so far as to cannibalize her own kind. Alas, such garish decorations only ended up being a spectacular display of poor taste. Her search for beauty eventually led to her demise when she attacked 2B and 9S. This machine life form, which resembles a clown, has assimilated stamps into its body. It lures victims with offers of play before spewing an unknown liquid from its mouth that is toxic enough to melt the skin of androids. Upon defeat, it offers thanks for playing with it. And then Amical puts <laughs> Romeo, Juliet. Funnel. Funny how they're added here. Interesting. Well, let's go f talk to... What's his name? There's a... Damn it, the, the thing is broken again. Indeed it is. Is there any purpose or need to objects you find in the world? Consider, if you will, this place or this village, or even myself, if such a... We're here with a present for you. A present? Of what sort? It's a fossil. One of your followers asked us to deliver it to you. I see, I see. She said you were indescribably passionate when it came to learning or something like that. A mechanical fossil. No use at all. Do you want us to tell her anything on your behalf, or... I'll not waste words on mere junk. Junk? Jean-Paul doesn't seem to appreciate their presence he's getting. I suppose we should go tell his followers exactly what he thinks of them, huh? They'll be waiting for some kind of reply. Yeah, the camera's kind of going crazy. Welcome to our village. Yeah, there's just uh, one thing out there. And... Well, I guess we'll head along... Out of here, maybe talk to Pascal. So you're alright? There was a huge earthquake, so I was worried. I like Pascal. Hope that nothing happens to Pascal. Pascal deserves everything. I'd like to climb down. Game. Game. Stop it, game. Free me. Let's see, anything new? Anonymous! Well, I have no idea what that means. Your new mission is to capture renegade Yorha members. Not only did these members go AWOL, but we've confirmed that they engaged in unlawful conduct, including the theft of resistance resources. They are to be taken into custody as soon as possible. Note that this is direct order. Huh. Yorha betrayers. And mysterious letter. Deserting and attacking the resistance, no less. Huh. Rapunzel, rogue Yorha units should be captured and detained in order to keep collateral damage at a minimum. Detained? Easy for you to say. <laughs> I wonder why. There was some earthquake. Are you alright? I've been told that providing is preventing, so buy whatever you like. So I need titanium alloy to upgrade my virtuous contract. And titanium alloy to uh, upgrade my virtuous treaty. What do you sell? If you would just, like, sell upgrade materials, that would be great. Hmm. You know, I'm interested. I'm going to buy a chunk of drop rate ups and see if I can combine them into one super up drop rate up. But before we end our playtime, let's see what quest is down this way into the forest. What's happening? What was all that about? No idea. <laughs> Excuse me, can I ask you what happened? 
Oh, this is so embarrassing. But if you must know, I was arguing with my child. You have your eyebrows, funnily enough. You don't say. That boy just refuses to listen to me, and now he's gone off to run off to who knows where. This is terribly forward of me, but would you mind finding him and bringing him home? I'd go myself, but I'd never survive out there. We'll see what we can do. Heh, <laughs> look at you, you big softy. I guess we can quickly... Well, that was multiple updates. Because we got John Paul's Melancholy. Oh, go tell all three fans. But I probably already, like, responded to them, so I just need to go tell the one in the diddly D. Yep, I already found one. The Yorha couple. Apparently they plan to leave. Uh, where could they be? Yorha units 8B, 22B, and 64B have deserted and have become terrorizing the resistance camp. After handing you plug-in chips, resistance member seems happy. Mm -hmm. Parade escort. <laughs> Make sure not to mess up this time. You received the sudden mail from an unknown source containing three coordinates. They seem to, be to point at locations in the desert, the flooded city, and the forest. Investigate the coordinates. Interesting. But let's see. Family squabble. Go to the city ruins and bring the child back in one piece. Which will be a bit. So we'll probably end things there. Yorha betrayers. The flight thing I can't do. Yorha betrayers. Yorha betrayers. Family squabble. Yeah, he's deep in there. Oh, and then there's... Photographs. Mysterious letter. No idea how to get there. Oh, that's because it's deep in there. The wandering couple. Probably in the deep underground. Photographs. Unknown. Retrieve confidential intel. And Jean-Paul's melancholy. So we have a lot to do next time. So I'm going to head back to the village and save. Because... The boy ran really fast, really far. So this machine mother has a child, eh? It's surprising to see them form familial units like that. I wonder if they'll let us examine their brain circuits if we bring the kid <laughs> I don't think they would like that. Even scientific curiosity is getting out of hand, 9S. Joking, I'm joking. Mostly. But we shall save. Oh, d d Ah, just saying that. Ah, the save complete. And we shall more assuredly save. And I do believe that that will be that for now. We did a lot. The story progressed just suddenly quickly. Did not expect, like, uh things to just explode for a moment there I was worried something was going to happen to the village and I wouldn't be able to complete all the quests I had accrued well things are going in an interesting direction interesting boss fights that are kind of bullet hellish interesting side quests like just finding stamps like so far this is very interesting very very interesting but we've been going for five hours because I am a fool. So we will be ending things there. So yes, if you want more from me, the next stream should be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time because I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want other things from me, I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, of direct links in the usual bios, descriptions, and link places, and it should have links to everything that I do, like edited YouTube content, streaming on YouTube, streaming on Twitch, depending on whichever you prefer, of which all of these streams, after the fact, get uploaded to that e streaming YouTube channel for posterity and quality reasons. And then if you want to see art from me, I post art to various different sites, and similar to my little character in the corner, as well as my end screens. And if you want to read stories I've written, I th throw random story stuff onto various different sites that should be linked in my link tree. I recently started a... put the first chapter of another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story out, if you want to read that. 
And finally, up in my link tree is my Patreon for the super kind to throw a few dollary dues my way and help me in the darkness of this universe. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, stay kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Well, bye-bye. <laughs>